I just wanted to make a video right now it's 12.51 a.m. Christmas morning 2019 and I've been thinking about you know There was a novel by Charles Dickens and The Christmas Carol, I believe that's what it was called. And they have, there's been several movies based upon Dickens. Christmas Carol and the centerpiece of the movie t to me it seems is a guy by the name of Ebenezer Scrooge and I've mentioned this before in previous videos about the absolutely beyond any doubt there is a man that I met in 2002 and he is the worst person I've ever met in my life bar none without zero doubt and in this video I'm going to just back up the way I feel about this, I don't even know what to call him, male, human being, I, this person has caused me more pain, more sorrow, more angst, more, I, I can't even begin to describe in my life I have met I would say roughly tens of thousands of different people in my life and no one, absolutely no one, has came close to comparing to this guy I call Ebenezer Scrooge. If I was watching The Christmas Carol, and it was an older version, a black and white version of The Christmas Carol by Dickens, it was a, and I started watching, and it got to the point where I watched it from the beginning all the way to the end of the movie, and I thought about the point where Ebenezer was at his worst. And my opinion may differ from other people and their opinion at the exact moment in that movie where Ebenezer Scrooge was at his worst. But
the Ebenezer Scrooge in that movie cannot even compare, vaguely compare, to the Ebenezer Scrooge that I have had the displeasure of dealing with for well over 10 years. And in this video, I'm going to put up some pictures and I'm going to tell some true stories, some true factual events that have happened in my life dealing with this Ebenezer Scrooge and and let me say that you know in, the, in another video I, I, I have made previous videos about so-called Ebenezer Scrooge and if you want to go back in my videos you can look up where uh, and Ebenezer Scrooge, and I believe there's there's a part one, a part two, possibly a part three. But this is Christmas morning. I'm sitting here alone. And it's, right now, it's 12.58. It just turned 12.58 in the morning, a.m., Christmas morning. 2019 and it's come to the point where I just I needed to make another video about this absolutely horrible horrible person and I, I mean I don't even really know where to start um, I mean, I guess I can start from the beginning, but I'm, you know, I'm going to start from the beginning when, when I met this person. Uh, I met this person in 2002. I walked into to this person's store and I introduced myself. And I told this person that I was new to this town and that I was looking for a job. I told this person about my credentials and I, I, to make a long story short, this person offered to hire me and pay me $100 per week to work in the store. My job to work in the store would be to do sales, to refinish jewelry, to take the trash out, to repair watches, vintage and modern wristwatches and pocket watches and I was so desperate because I had just moved to this town and I ended up working 
for this person, this Ebenezer Scrooge. And see, I, I didn't know, I didn't know anything about this person whenever I walked into this store. I didn't know anything about, I had never met this person before in my life. And this person started out to be nice, you know, started out to be nice. This person just said, you know, that I can offer you a hundred dollars a week and it turned out I was working 40 hours a week. I was working 40 hours a week in this person's store. Like I said, doing sales, uh, uh, taking the trash out, um, refinishing jewelry, repairing watches and doing batteries, uh, modern wristwatches, mechanical vintage uh, wristwatches, uh, automatic wristwatches, um, vintage pocket watches. I mean, you name it. I was doing all of these things for a hundred dollars a week. That's how cheap this person was and that was how that's that was how desperate I was. So that's how I first met this person. And I'm just going to say that I'm not going to say this person's name and I'm not going to say his wife slash business partner or whatever they are. I mean, like I said, I've known these people for well over 10 years now, and I still don't know if they're truly married, if they're just business partners, if they're married and business partner. I mean, I'm going to get into this later on, but like I said, this is the most just... I, like I said, I don't, I don't even know where, where, what, I mean, I have been through so much with this person. This person is the most narcissistic. This person is the most narcissistic person I ever, I have ever met in my life. I cannot even begin to tell you what I have went through. And like I said, I'm not going to use their name. You know why? Because even now, sitting here, over 10 years later, knowing these people, this guy, Ebenezer Scrooge, he has threatened my life before. He said if I ever say anything negative about him or his wife or the business or anything, that he would kill me or his wife would kill me. He says, oh, if you think I'm mean, my wife is a lot meaner. You know, he uses intimidation on me. He's used intimidation on me. He's threatened to punch my teeth out. I mean, like I said, he's called me stupid. He's called me a moron. He has put me down more than anybody I've ever met on this earth. And I'm going to tell you right up front, the craziest thing is, later on, in 2010, I put my life on the line to save his life and save the merchandise that they had in the store. And this, this guy, this Ebenezer Scrooge, this horrible, horrible, terrible person, just... I don't even know how to even say it. I I have pictures. I have pictures of the article in the in the paper in this video. I want you to read. And I will get into it later. I'm going to get into it later about the story of how that happened. But I, I told him, I told this guy, this Ebenezer Scrooge, this horrible person, these people were here to rob you, something's wrong. 
and I, I shit you not, I kid you not, I wish I was joking in a way, but this is, I mean, I'm not joking. He told me, don't blow the sail. <coughs> Sorry. He told me, he told me, don't blow the sail, and I will get into it later. These people had clear rubber gloves on, and I will get to an, into it later. I told him that they, there's something wrong. These people are here. Uh, they're wearing clear rubber gloves or whatever. But like I said, you read the article. The, the, the lady faked being pregnant. The guy was wanted already. The guy had a, had a history. You know, I, I'm just saying. The guy came around the corner. The guy came around the corner. I had a gun pointed right at him. He had the gun in his hand. He pointed the gun at me. I pointed the gun at him. I pointed the gun at him. He pointed it at me. I, I mean, I'm, I'm telling you. I called I called his wife or business partner. Okay. I, I, okay. So I told, I told this Ebenezer Scrooge, this horrible person, that they were wear, wearing clear rubber gloves. And he told me, don't blow the sail. That's one. Number two. I called his wife or business partner or whatever. I called her on the phone and I told her something was wrong, that she needed to come down to the store. That's number two. Number three, she came into the store and I told her what was going on and she said, yes, I see what's going on. That's number three. Okay? Number four, there's other things too, but like I said, I was, I had the only gun, I had the only gun in the whole entire store. And I was in this room where the safe, where the the safe was, and the 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 owner, the Ebenezer Scrooge, the the the, the lady who was faking a pregnancy, he was he was he was putting a necklace on this 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 lady. He was he was still trying to make make a sale after all this has happened. And his wife or business partner, whatever she is, she was not even in the store at this moment. And this guy was coming around the corner to sneak up on him, and he had the gun in his hand. I saw it in his hand. And where this room was, it, I, I don't even know how to explain it. I could, I could, I could, if I could show you or, or, or diagram it, then I could show you how... At this point, there was no barrier. Whenever they designed the store, there was no barrier for, like, a customer could come actually, I don't even know how to explain it, behind the showcases and get get around. I, I would have to diagram it. I'd have to show you. But I'm just saying, this guy was sneaking up with the gun in his hand. He was going to try to sneak up on... Ebenezer Scrooge, this guy who was putting a necklace around this 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 lady who who faked her pregnancy. She had her. It was like I, I don't even know how to explain. It. She had he he was he was behind one side of the of the showcase. She was on the other side. She, he he her belly was faced out towards uh and, and she, she was le basically leaning back. Uh, leading back, and, 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 and this Ebenezer Scrooge guy was reaching over and putting the necklace around her or whatever, and her stomach was facing, it was like the front of, the front of Ebenezer Scrooge was facing the back of this lady, and, 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 and her fake pregnant belly was facing out towards the front also, and this guy was trying to sneak around with the gun, he was going to sneak up on the, uh, on the, on the, on the, 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 the owner of this guy or whatever, Ebenezer Scrooge with the gun, and, I caught him, you know, he was going to sneak up, he was going to try to, you know, he had the gun in, 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 in his hand. And then he noticed, I guess he noticed me out of the corner of his eye or whatever, and he turned around to his left, and he pointed, pointed his gun at me, and I had my gun already pointed at him. And like I said in, in, a, in a previous video, at th that moment right there, I... This, this this gun was given to Eb this Ebenezer Scrooge guy by another person, 
and I knew this. I knew this. This gun had bullets in it. I had, I have. I had never shot this gun before. I didn't know if the safety was on. I didn't know nothing. All I knew is that it was the only gun in the whole entire store, and. I had this gun pointed at him, but I didn't know, like I said, I didn't know if the safety was on. I didn't know nothing. No, I didn't, wasn't even thinking about this. I'm, I was thinking about this after. I have, I've had many years to, 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 to think about this, you know. And like I said, he could have turned around and shot me in an instant. He could have killed me. He could have wounded me. He could have done whatever. I could have done the same to him. I mean, if, if I would have known the, the you know, and if I would have pulled the trigger, and the safety would have been on or something, and his and, and his was ready to, you know, and his was ready to go or whatever, he could have killed me in a heartbeat. There was nowhere I could go. I was in a room or whatever, but there was no way out. The only way out was in between him and I. There was a door there, but the door was open. You know, and like I said, I'm, I, I have, you know, they, they talk about, I mean, I've heard people talk about PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, whatever. I have relived, I have relived these memories about this happening. I, I don't know how many times. I mean, I can't tell you hundreds of times I've relived this, the, you know, what went on that, you know, it start it started about 530 in the afternoon, you know, and You know, and I, I've relived this. I don't know how. I can't even tell you how many times over and over. You know, like I said, I, I'll just be. I'll be. I'll be. I would be. I, I, I've been brushing my teeth before and started thinking about this, and then I just, you know, all of a sudden I start. You know, it's like I'm having flashbacks. You know, like uh, this is this is. You know, I'm just saying, and I'm going to talk, tell. I'm going to talk about it more later on. But I'm just saying this Ebenezer Scrooge guy, this compulsive liar, this horrible, horrible Ebenezer Scrooge. You know, he denies. He 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 denies. He makes me sound like I'm crazy, like I'm stupid, like I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, he'll tell people. Oh, well, you know. You know, he, he his his story gets you know different and whatever you know as the years go by or whatever. Like I'm making this all up. Oh, he you know he said, oh I would have never done that. You know, or it didn't happen that way or whatever. And but I was there. I like I said, I know what happened. I'm. I, it happened the way that I have said it. It it, it, it happened, and you know. It's the truth, and like I've said before in many other videos, the truth is the truth is the truth, okay? I have no reason to lie. Well, uh, I'm just saying, if, I mean, if, if, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm not lying, I'm not lying, you know? As much as this person has put me through, he has put me through so much hell, more than anybody else I've, I've I've ever met on earth by far. But you know what? I'm not lying and I'm not going to I'm not I'm not lying about anything I say in this video about this person. I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth and I don't care who believes it. You know, if you ask this person, he will lie. He'll tell you I'm crazy. Like I said, he is a compulsive liar. He's the most narcissistic, unappreciative, arrogant a uh, compulsive liar person I've ever met in my life. And it's, you know, like I said, it's right now it's 1.14 in the morning, a.m., 1.14 a.m., Christmas Day, 2019. And Ebenezer Scrooge, you know, like I said, if you watch that movie, The Christmas Carol, and you think of Ebenezer Scrooge at his worst, at his absolute worst point in that movie, I'm telling you, it doesn't even compare. It doesn't even compare 10% to what this guy is in real life. I'm telling you, I've been through it. I've, 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 I've seen it with my own eyes. I've heard it with my own ears. I have, I have, I have been at the receiving end of this Ebenezer Scrooge narcissistic, horrible, unappreciative, arrogant person. I don't know how many times, more times than I can ever, I can, I can count. So.
But yeah, he said if I ever if I ever talk bad about him or, or his his wife or his business partner or whatever them if I ever if I, if I ever say anything bad about them or whatever that he would kill me or his wife would kill me and that his wife is a lot meaner than 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 than, than he is you know and he can say he didn't ever say it but I'm telling you it's the truth he did say it he did say it and like I said I have no reason to lie and you know that's what's crazy you know that's what I'm saying. This guy and this, you know, I'm just saying, this guy and his wife or business partner, you know, they have this store that has a couple hundred thousand dollars with the inventory. They live in a couple hundred thousand dollar house. They have multiple rental properties. They have a, they have a, they have a, a, a fishing lodge, you know. And like I said, I put my life on the line. I put my life on the line. Sorry about that. If you heard that, I don't know if you did or not. I had some type of update on my phone, so sorry about that. But uh, I, I I'm sorry that that really that that interrupted my train of thought. But yeah, what I was saying is yeah, they have what I was saying before was. Yeah, I think about all they have. Like I said, I put my life on the line for 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 him. His his wife, his business partner, was nowhere around. I was the only other person in the store with him whenever he let those people in. And I knew something was wrong right from Jump Street, right from the beginning. I knew something was wrong. Whenever I looked at that guy and he looked at me, I knew there was something wrong. But like I said. You know, I called his I called his wife or business partner. She came in there and she said, "Yeah, I see what's going on. I, I, I see what's going on, or whatever." I, I mean, at the beginning, I told him, I told him they're wearing rubber gloves or whatever. There's something wrong. I said, "Listen, there's something wrong. They're wearing rubber gloves. You know, I think they're here to rob. You know, they're, they're you know, because I, I was always." You know, I'm I'm sorry, but that's you have to think like a criminal thinks or whatever. So you have to think that somebody's gonna rob or whatever, try to kill or whatever. You have to think like a criminal, and that's what I told the guys. That the guys, you know, they're they're here to rob. There's something wrong. They're wearing clear rubber gloves. This is not right or whatever. And he told me. He said, don't blow the sale. So I told him that. He told me, don't blow the sale. Then I called his wife and told him something was wrong, his business partner, whatever. She came down. She said, yeah, I see what's going on. Then the guy, like I said, the guy was coming around the, the corner with the gun or whatever, and I had the gun pointed at him. He had it pointed at me or whatever. Okay. Then I, you know, his his wife or business partner had left the store, wasn't even in there at that point or whatever, and I ended up calling the cops. I called the cops or whatever, and the cops ended up tracking him down or whatever and arresting him, and he went to jail, and like I said just read 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 the article the the the, the, the article of, of of what happened she she was not even pregnant i knew she wasn't pregnant she was she she faked being pregnant she had she had a pillow t taped around her she had a loaded gun she had duct tape she had a pillowcase she had all this stuff she she was not even pregnant you know he you know they were they were wearing layers of clothes or whatever they had hair dye he was wanted for aggravated uh, robbery or something already in bad checks or whatever he was already wanted he had out outstanding warrants he had a criminal record you know just read read the the the, the pictures of the the article that i that, that i'm i'm going to put them in this video or whatever you know and i'm just saying you know and after all that, this is how crazy it is. This is how crazy. You know what he told me after all that stuff? He said, like I said, this is how insane is this. You put your life on the line for a millionaire. You put your life on the line for a millionaire. And and, and, and they had a couple hundred thousand dollars with inventory. And they're, they're millionaires or whatever. And now, 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 you know, years later, you, you know what he said? My wife is mad at you because you cost her a million dollars in life insurance. I mean, are you kidding me? This is how insane. This is how absolutely insane this Ebenezer Scrooge, this horrible, horrible person is, you know? And he has told me, I don't know how many times, he's told me multiple times, You, my, my wife is mad at you. My wife is pissed off at you because you cost her a million dollars in life insurance. This is how crazy and insane... 
imagine that and this is the guy that I'm going to get 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 to this later on in the, in this in this video this guy has t this this guy this Ebenezer Scrooge this horrible horrible absolutely horrible terrible person he has told me that anybody he said you could make 2 or 300,000 200,000 or 300,000 dollars a year out of this store no problem okay and this is 2019 okay and this happened in 2010 so like I've said before in, 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 in other videos, and I'm going to say it in this one right here, he says that his wife is mad at me or his business partner, whatever he calls her, his wife. Okay, his wife. He said, my wife is mad at you. My wife is pissed off at you because you cost her a million dollars in life insurance, which means that, oh, I, you know, this, this, that's what I'm saying. This is how insane it is. My wife is mad at you, pissed off at, at you because you cost her a million dollars in life insurance, Okay. This is this is how crazy he 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 tells me that any any schmuck any schmuck can make two hundred thousand a year to three hundred thousand dollars a year out of the store no problem okay so here's the thing from two thousand and ten to two thousand and nineteen okay that's nine years okay he's still alive nine years later so that means that means that he has made a minimum. Out of that store, he's made a minimum of one point eight million dollars, one million eight hundred thousand dollars out of that store, to two point seven million dollars. Okay, two hundred thousand times nine is one point eight million. Okay, three hundred thousand times nine is two point seven million. Two times nine is eighteen. Three times nine is twenty-seven. So here's the thing. Okay. Not only have I made them a million dollars by keeping him alive, by putting, by put, I put my life on the line for him and their merchandise, and he's alive now, still making money, you know. So I have made them, I have made them a million dollars plus, I have made them at least eight hundred thousand to one point. Excuse me, eight hundred thousand dollars to one point seven million dollars more than that one million dollars that, that that he said his wife is pissed off at me, mad at me because I cost her a million dollars. Now how crazy is that? And you know what? He talks to me like I'm a dog. He tr worse than a dog, like worthless trash. He treats me like I'm worthless trash. Like I said, he has put me down, he's cursed me, he's threatened my life, called me stupid, called me a moron, told me he was going to punch my, my teeth out. You know, he tells me, you know, he was past district manager of this or whatever, and he has all this, and, and, and I'm nothing, I'm nothing, and he is everything, and... I'm, I'm just telling you, I mean, that's what I'm saying, that this is what I've, this is what I've went through with this person. And like I said, I'm sitting here right now, and this is, right now, it's... 124 in the morning 124 a.m. Christmas morning 2019 and I'm sitting here you know like I said this 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 person this Ebenezer Scrooge this horrible person has made a minimum minimum of 1.8 million dollars these last nine years to 2.7 million dollars out of these nine years because I put my life on the line for him and the merchandise. And I'm sitting here today and I, I can't even begin to tell you. I just, this is, you know. I have a Christmas tree. It's about three foot tall that has a couple lights on it. It was given to me. I have a Christmas tree that was given to me with a couple lights. There are zero presents underneath that tree. I have no money to buy any Christmas presents. I have no money in the bank. I'm in debt. My fiance and I have to share a car that I'm still paying on. I 
I've had to file bankruptcy since I put my life on the line for this multi-millionaire and his wife business partner. I have to worry. This is, uh, you know, that's what I'm saying. I have to, I have to live day to day. I have to worry about how I'm going to pay the rent, the electric, the car payment, the insurance, how I'm going to buy food, how I'm going to buy gas for the car. I have, I truly and absolutely do, without any doubt, have to worry and I have to live day to day. And this multi-millionaire, after I put my life on the line, after I put my life on the line for this millionaire and 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 and, 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 and this millionaire and and their merchandise, and he said his wife is pissed off at me because I cost her a million dollars in life insurance. But he's been alive for nine more years, and he said that any schmuck can make two hundred thousand or three hundred thousand a year. So not only, that's what I'm saying. I have to live day to day, and he he has talked to me like I'm worthless trash and treated me. I'm just saying he's he's talked to me. I can't even tell you. I, I don't even know how. He, I can't even begin to tell you how horribly he has talked to me and treated me. He's treated me worse than worthless trash. I, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I don't. I don't understand. I don't know what. How, I don't know how. I, I. I. don't. You would have to be on the receiving end of this narcissistic Ebenezer Scrooge, this this horrible person that I have dealt with for all these years. But like I said, yeah, I have to live day to day, day to day, and I have to worry about the bare necessities. And I have made, by putting my life on the line for this Ebenezer Scrooge, this horrible person in their merchandise or whatever, and like I said, he said his wife is pissed off at me because I cost her a million dollars in life insurance, but he's been alive for nine, over nine more years, and he said any schmuck can make 200000 or 300000 out of the store. So not only by me putting my life on the line, he has made a million dollars plus he has made 800000 to $1.7 million more within these last nine years. And I have to, I have to, I have to live day to day. I have... I, this, I, I, I told, I told this guy, I said, listen, you know, uh, that's, that, that's, I, 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 when this guy said, this guy has said to me before, my wife is pissed off at you for costing her a million dollars in life insurance. And I told him, I said, you told me that any schmuck can make 200000 or 300000 a year out of the store, and you've been alive for nine more years, okay? So not only have you made that million dollars, you've made at least $800,000 to $1.7 million over that million dollars or whatever. And I said, what have I gotten from it? Nothing. You talk to me like I'm worthless trash. You treat me like I'm worthless trash, you know? I mean, like I said, I cannot even begin to tell you how horrible this 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 guy has has talked to me and treated me. You know what he's? You know, I said, what have you done for me? You know what he says? That you know what he 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 said to me. He said, I don't owe you nothing. He said, thank you. He said, that's all I owe you. Thank you. I want. I want you to think about that. That's what I'm talking about. Imagine. It, you know, this guy, it, it, this guy, uh, I, he cries tired, hungry, and broke 
but he is absolutely, without any doubt, he is not tired, hungry, and broke. Him and his wife are multi-millionaires. I really do, I really do have to live day to day, and I have to worry about the, the, the basic necessities of life, and how I'm going to survive. And this guy is telling me that his wife is pissed off at me because I cost her a million dollars in life insurance. But yet he tells me that any schmuck can make 200000 a year to $300,000 a year out of the store, no problem. So he has made a minimum of $1.7 billion to no, I'm sorry, excuse me, $1.8 million to $2.7 million out of that store, okay? So I have, by putting my life on the line for this Ebenezer Scrooge, this horrible person who told me, don't blow the sale. I called, I told him, you know, like I said, I told him that they're wearing clear rubber gloves. I called his wife, you know. I stood there with the gun, where the guy had his gun pointed at me, and I had the gun pointed at him, okay. I, I, I called the police, and, and you know, these people get, get ended up go, getting arrested and going, and, you know, the guy ended up going to, 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 to like prison, I think, for like five years. I'm just saying, after all this. And he says his wife is pissed off at me because I cost her a million dollars when in, in all, all actuality I have made them by by me putting my life on the line for this for this for this guy who has treated me horrible in the past and he's treated me horrible he he treated me horrible up to the point where I put my life on the line for this guy and he has treated me even worse since then. Get, try, try to grasp that. That's what's crazy. And you know what he tells me? He said, I don't owe you anything. He said, thank you. I said, what do you... He said, I don't owe you anything. He said, thank you. That's all I owe you is a thank you. This is the truth. This is the truth. This is the truth. This is the truth. This is what I've... I, this is what I have been through with this... With this this horrible, horrible, horrible Ebenezer Scrooge. I call him John Elwes because John Elwes, if you look up John Elwes, John Elwes, he, he was, he's, he's, he's to, people think that he, he might be an inspiration for the character Ebenezer Scrooge in The Christmas Carol. If you look up John Elwes, Look up John Elwes Christmas Carol or John Elwes Ebenezer Scrooge or John Elwes Charles Dickens. Look up our miser, Charles Dickens miser. Research John Elwes. And that's why I have called this guy Ebenezer Scrooge John Elwes. He is narcissistic i have never met anybody more narcissistic in my life more self-centered in my life than this guy that i have dealt with this ebenezer scrooge that i'm making this video it's 1 34 a.m in the morning christmas morning and I'm making this video about Ebenezer Scrooge, John Elwes, except the difference is this is not a character. This is a person that I have dealt with for over 10 years. I I'm going to, right now it's 1.35 in the morning, Christmas morning, 2019. I I'm going to just pause it and collect my thoughts. I'm going to just pause it for a minute. Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna... I have... I have so much to say. I, I just... I have been through so much. I, I'm gonna give you an example right here. This guy... 
like I said, when I first started to work for him, whenever I first met this person, I was working 40 hours a week for $100 an hour. That's how cheap this guy was, and that's how desperate I was. But after, I'm just saying after a while, I couldn't, I just couldn't do it anymore. So I ended up leaving. And you, you, you want to know what's crazy? I, I believe I was there. I, I, six months to a year. And then I ended up leaving because I just couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't work 40 hours a week for a hundred, one hundred dollars an hour for 40 hours a week working at his store. Doing sales, refinishing jewelry, fixing watches and, and, and pocket watches and doing all kind of stuff and taking the trash out. But to make a long story short, I ended up leaving. And this is what's crazy. I was I was with a mutual friend of ours and we were out and we were drinking at a bar or club or whatever and we were drinking and it was me and this guy and this guy's girlfriend who is his wife right now but they were just they were just dating at that moment right there so we're sitting at a table and it's late in the evening and there's music going on and we're drinking and everything and next thing you know a guy taps me on the shoulder and this is what he said and like I said, I I I I I'm, I can't. I'm, I know this guy's name. Like I said, I know this guy's name, and I know his wife and his business partner. I know their name. I know their names. But like I said, you know, he's threatened me, and he said that if I ever talk bad about him or his wife or his business partner or their business or whatever, that he would kill me or his wife would kill me. You know, I'm just telling you. So this is how crazy it is. But like like I said, I. So this guy taps me on the shoulder, and he said. He said, you owe so-and-so money. You owe so-and-so money. This Ebenezer Scrooge guy. And I said, what? He said, yeah. He said, you owe so-and-so money, you know. And I said, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I, I don't know. What, but th that's how crazy it was. This guy... This Ebenezer Scrooge... This Ebenezer Scrooge guy was talking shit about me... And he told this guy that I owed him money or whatever. And this guy was at this club or whatever. And he came up there and he 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 tapped me on the shoulder, and he was best he was he was threatening me and saying that I owed this Ebenezer Scrooge guy money. I mean, how crazy is this shit? I didn't know this this Ebenezer Scrooge guy anything. I didn't owe him any money. But this is what I'm talking about. I mean, this was just the first taste. The hundred dollars a week for forty hours, and then this guy, you know, coming up to me in the middle of this club or whatever, when we're all drinking and having a good time, he taps me on the shoulder and he says, "This Ebenezer Scrooge guy said you owe him money and that I better pay him." This is what I'm saying. This is my the first instances that I've. That's that's another example. Here's an, uh, another example. I ended up... I ended up working for this guy. And I was having to set up... a booth... at... this, like, flea market type atmosphere or whatever. So I had to bring the merchandise from his store to this flea market type, 
you know, atmosphere, and then I had to, you know, set it up or whatever, and then I had to take it down, and I had to bring it back to the store. Now, he was nowhere around whenever I was, I was going to the store, when I was getting it early in the morning, I had to go over there, and I had to set it up at the, at this, 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 this place or whatever, I had to stay there, I had to do sales and everything, and then I had to take it down or whatever, I had to take the merchandise, then I had to bring it back across, you know, to, to, to the, to the, to the, to the store, you know, he, he, he wasn't, he wasn't doing this, you know, he, he, he wasn't having to, 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 to transport, you know, the merchandise or whatever, so, he, here's, here's a story, okay, I ended up quitting, I was working at this one place, and I, I ended up quitting, because this guy, this Ebenezer Scrooge guy, he, he was, he was hiring me to, 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 to work for him, and to 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 set up over at at this at this flea market type you know I don't I don't know what you have you know I don't know what to really call it whatever but it was like an upscale flea market type thing or whatever so this one day or whatever I was I've always I'm just saying I you have to think like a criminal thinks whenever you're dealing with expensive merchandise okay but like I said he wasn't putting his life on the line okay he wasn't having to jeopardize his life and his welfare or whatever his safety for this merchandise or whatever. I was doing, I was taking all the risk or whatever, okay, so this one time or whatever, I have this merchandise up or whatever, and all of a sudden, these guys keep on pacing back or whatever, and I see it, and I notice it, because like I said, you, you just, you, you just, you know, you have to look at people, and you have to, it's, you know, you have to just watch their patterns, and you have to, you know, you have to be aware of your surroundings, so, I notice something, I notice something, something's wrong. I notice. I notice something's wrong. And I call this guy and I tell him, I said, something's wrong. I said, these people have been, I, you know, they've been casing, you know, they've been casing me out or whatever. I mean, I know something's, something's wrong. And. He just. He, he just, bl he kind of just blows it off and said, oh, don't worry about it or whatever, you know, just get the merchandise over, you know, safe or whatever, just get the merchandise or whatever, so I ended up packing the merchandise up or whatever, and I'm about ready to walk out the door, and I've got the merchandise, it's just me, he's nowhere around, nobody else is around or whatever, so I'm about ready to walk through these doors, there's, there are glass doors, swinging glass doors or whatever, but when I look out there, I see one of the guys is on the right, and another guy is on the left, and I knew, I knew if I walked out there, something bad was going to happen, I mean, I just knew that when I walked through there, that I was going to get robbed, that they were going to try to steal the merchandise, something bad was going to happen, so I did not, I mean, I like I said, I can still see it right now. I just stood there inside of this place and I looked at these people and I got on my phone and I called this guy and I said, I said, you need to come, you need to come over here. I said, something is wrong. I said, if I walk out these doors, I'm going to get robbed. I'm going to the merchandise is going to get stolen. Something bad is going to, something bad is going to happen. And I explained to him the situation and I just stood there and I waited for him to come. Those, those people, those, those guys were not even moving. They were in the same spot. So if I was going to walk through those doors, one guy was going to be on my right. One guy was going to be on my left. Okay. So I stood inside of these glass doors or whatever, and I saw this, this guy, this Ebenezer Scrooge guy, come through these doors. And he came, he came right through where these two guys were, okay? And I, and I told him, I said, do you see those guys out there? I said, that's what I'm talking about. I said, you see the guy on the right, the guy on the left? He said, oh yeah, I saw. I see, I mean, I'm sorry. He said, yeah, I see what's going on. He said, I see exactly what's going on. You know, he, he, he knew, he knew what was going to happen. He knew they were going to rob. He knew something bad was going to happen. They were going to steal the stuff or whatever. So we ended up, we ended up leaving a different way. And we ended up calling the police and escorting over to the store. And 
I told him, like I said, he he said, he saw, he knew exactly what was going to happen, okay? He came, and he came with me, and, and we walked out to the car together. We called the police or whatever. We got an escort over to the store or whatever. We got the merchandise safe over there. And he saw, he knew what those guys were going to do. He saw. He said, yeah, they were up to no good. He said, yeah, it looked like they were going to rob. It looked like there was something bad was going to happen or whatever. He acknowledged all this stuff. Well, you know what? I told him after that, even after I left my job, I had a full-time job that I was working at. And he told me, he said, you know, oh, you're going to make good money or whatever. He said, you run this over there for me or whatever. He said, you're going to make good money, no problem. He made me all these promises or whatever. So I ended up quitting my job. I was working at my job. I was, I was, work, I was working. I had a full-time time job I was I, I I was working full time there full time 40 hours a week at this job or whatever I put in my notice and I was only working one day a week I had to switch from where I was at I had to switch to a different area because of conflict of interest they called it so like I said, I put in my notice. I dropped down from full time to one t one day a week to go work for this Ebenezer Scrooge or whatever. And he promised me all this stuff or whatever, all whatever. Because you know why? He saw the potential to make money. That's all he cared about. He didn't give a shit about me or whatever. So... I ended up telling him, I said, listen, I'm not going to do that no more. I said, that is too risky. I said, if I get killed, if I get shot, I said, are you going to pay for my medical bills? I said, are you going to pay for my, you know... If I if I'm in a coma, if I'm if I'm if I'm in ICU, if I'm in the emergency room, if or whatever, I said, are you going to pay the 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 the, the, the bills? You're going to pay? I mean, how am I going to pay my my? How am I going to pay the rent? How am I going to pay the car payment? How am I going to pay the electric? How am I going to do all that stuff? If I'm in the emergency room, if I'm if I'm in the hospital, an ICU or, or a coma or whatever, because I get shot. You know, or, or killed, or I'm, I'm just saying, or something bad happens, or whatever. If I get shot, or, or get injured, or whatever, I said, "Are you going to pay?" No, absolutely not. He wasn't going to pay. So we ended up getting getting into it, and that's whenever he, like I said, that's whenever I said, "Listen," I said, "I am not." I, I, I said, "I will do." Listen, I, I told him, I said, "Listen," I put in my note, I put in my my my, I, I'm only working one day a week at this place. I was. I was working full time. This Ebenezer Scrooge guy talked me in to just putting in my notice and only working at that job one day a week just so I could keep my insurance. And I was working with him. So I was actually working seven days a week. And. But I told him, I said, listen, I said, I've got, I said, I put him, I, I, I'm only working one day a week there. I said, I am not going to risk my life over there. You know, you don't give a shit what happens to me. All you care is that, you know, I'm making money and I'm making sales and that's all you give a shit about. You know, you don't give a shit about me or whatever. And I said, listen, I will, I will, I will stay in the store. I'll make sales. I'll do other stuff, but I'm not going over there. He said, listen, if you're not going to go over there, then you're, then I don't want nothing to do with you. That's what I'm saying. This is this is how this is this is and this is after I put my life on the line. This is after I put my life on the line for him and his merchandise. That's what I'm saying. This is after. This is how crazy and insane and Ebenezer Scrooge. And that's whenever I got to the point. Because he basically fired me. He just said, listen, if you're gonna, not going to do this, then we, I don't need you. He said, I don't need you then. He didn't give a shit. He did All he cares about, the world revolves around him. That's that's what it does. You know, the world re revolves around him. And I made this comment before, you know. He said, well, who else do you think it, 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 it should revolve around? That's what he said. Who else do you, do you think? I said, the, I said, do you think the world revolves around you? You know what he said? Well, yeah. He said, what, what, what else should it revolve around? That's what I'm saying. So I remember I, I was down to working one day a week at this job that I was working at before where I put in my, I put in my notice or whatever and I went to go work for this Ebenezer Scrooge guy or whatever. And I remember I was laying in beds just staring up at the ceiling I had rent, I had electric, I had a car payment, I had insurance, I had food, I, I, I had all the stuff I had to pay for. And I'm laying in the bed, just staring up at the ceiling, just beside myself, 
wondering, what am I going to do? I remember, I mean, I could still think, I can still, I can still think of, I can still remember how I felt. It was summertime. I couldn't even afford to run the air. I was just, sweat was dripping off of me. I was laying in the bed, just sweating, having anxiety attack, just having severe anxiety attack. I didn't have nothing. I didn't have anything for depression, didn't have anything for anxiety. Imagine that. Imagine you put your life on the line for this millionaire or whatever, and then you end up, he talks you into quitting your full-time job and only working there one day and then working for him. And then after these people were going to rob or whatever, rob you or steal the stuff or whatever, then you told him it was too risky or whatever and that you would work in the store, you would do whatever, but you couldn't do that because, you know, like I said, if something bad happened, he, there's absolutely no way. And he, there would, there, he would not. There's, and I, like I said, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, like I said, I knew that he would not pay if something bad happened to me. And I'm going to tell you a story later on that just shows you how, just how horrible this, I mean, I'm just saying how absolutely horrible this guy is. So yeah, I still remember laying in that bed, just sweating, sweat pouring off of me. My hands were out to my side. Just staring at the ceiling for, for hours. Not knowing what I was going to do. I ended up going back to that to, to, to where I was working at. And I begged them. I begged them. I begged them if I could, I could have, you know, I could work full time again or whatever. I ended up having to go into a totally different department or whatever. And it took weeks. It took weeks before this ever happened. So I was, I was... I was down to only working one day a week, and it was weeks before I could I could get get things changed to where I was working in a, in a different department or whatever. And in the meantime, this is where that Ebenezer Scrooge guy told me because he owed me money. He owed me money. Because he promised, he promised to pay me X amount of dollars per week or whatever. And then all of a sudden he just stopped paying me. And he told me, this is whenever he told me, he said, listen, he said, if you say anything bad about me or my wife or this business, I will kill you or my wife will kill you. And she, if you, this is what he, this is what he said. He said, if you think those guys, if you think about what those guys were going to do to you, if you th think what they were going to do to you was bad. What I would do or what my wife would do would be so much worse. That's what he told me. He said, whatever the, whatever you think those those guys were going to do to you, he said, it would be nothing compared to what I will do or my wife will do. He said, if you think I'm, I'm mean, my wife is, is a lot meaner. This is what he told me. He said, if you he said, if you say anything bad about this business or about the, whatever, he said, I will kill you or my wife will kill you. This is the truth. This is the truth. And like I said, this is what I've been through with this Ebenezer Scrooge. And I'm sitting here in this room alone at 1.55 in the morning on Christmas morning 2019. <laughs> and after I end up... I mean, I was... this. Like I said, this was after what happened with those that the, the the lady that faked the pregnancy or whatever, and it was you know, like I said, please look, read, read I, the 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 article, the pictures that I put up of an article, the lady who faked the, the, that she was pregnant, or whatever, but she wasn't even she wasn't even pregnant. She had a a pillow taped around her. She had a roll of duct tape. She had a loaded gun. She had a pillowcase. You know, they had hair dye on each other. They had layers of clothes. They were they were in a rented car that had a fake license plate on it. I'm telling you, I'm not making this up. This is the truth or whatever. This is after. After I put my life on the line for him and 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 and, and, his, and his wife or business partners merchandise or whatever, this is after. And like I said, when we got into it or whatever, he had a gun on him, and I, I and I swear, I swear, he was threatening to call the cops. He had his hand on his gun. I mean, I really thought he was going to shoot me. That's what I'm saying. He is. 
I have seen him get angry I don't know how many times. I mean, like I said, as much as he has been blessed with, he takes the Lord's name in vain. He'll drop GD, GD this, GD that. I mean, I, like I said, I have never seen anybody, you know, who has so much that can take the Lord's name in vain and GD and just curse and get pissed off and mad and take the Lord's name in vain. So I ended up leaving, and I ended up calling his wife or business partner, and I explained, to, I explained to her that he threatened to kill me, and he said that, you know, that he would kill me or you would kill me or whatever. And I was, I was talking on the phone, and I told, I said, listen, I told her that, that, that I told her that I was down to, to only one day a week working, that I put in my, my, my notice to this job or whatever, and I had a good full-time job, but he talked me into leaving, and I was only working there one day a week, and I had bills to pay, and he promised to pay me X amount of money, and he hasn't paid me, and I need the money or whatever, and she said she would get back with me or whatever. Well, we ended up meeting up at a place or whatever, and you know what she told me? No, I can't give you no money. This is after. This is after I put my life on the line for for them and their their hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of merchandise. This is what I'm saying. This is what I've dealt with. I'm going to I'm going to Oh, I have I have this is what I'm saying. I have more. I'm going to I'm just going to I got to take a break for a minute. Okay, I'm back. Um, okay, imagine this, and this is after, this is after I put my life on the line for him and his merchandise. This Ebenezer Scrooge multi-millionaire. Imagine, imagine this. Imagine you're so desperate to work that he ends up, this person ends up Offering you to to work for ten dollars an hour, three three days a week. Ten dollars an hour, three days a week, five hours per day. This is after after you put your life on the line for this multi-millionaire, this Ebenezer Scrooge for him and his hundreds of thousand dollars worth of merchandise. This is this is even after that he, that he fucked me over whenever I put in I put in my Notice to my job, and I was work only working there one day a week. I was talking about it previously. I was working a full time job, and he talked me into just working at that job for one day a week and coming and working for 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 him. And he made all these promises, and he guaranteed me X amount of dollars per week or whatever. So I ended up doing that or whatever. And after he he fucked me over on that, and then he threatened my life and told me he would kill me or his wife would kill me if I ever talked bad about him and his wife or or the, or, the, or, the, or the business. This is how desperate. This is how desperate and 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 just how. Just how I don't even know how to say about my life. This is after all of that. I'm in such desperate, desperate, desperate need of money that I end up, he offers me $10 an hour. $10 an hour to work for him five days a week. I mean, five hours a day, three days a week. That's 15 hours. That's $150 a week. And like I said, I I do jewelry refinishing. I do watch repair. I list items for sale for him. I take out the trash. I go to the post office. I do sales. 
I've been in this business for over 20 years. I put my life on the line for this, for this guy and his merchandise or whatever. This multimillionaire and his wife who have hundreds of thousand dollars worth of inventory, live in a couple hundred thousand dollar house, have multiple rental properties, have a lodge. I am so desperate that I, that I end up working for this guy. Ten dollars an hour, five, five hours a day, fifty dollars. Basically, I'm working. I'm getting paid fifty dollars a day, working five hours a day, three days per week. Most of the time, on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That was my three days. I'm so desperate. Like I said, I'm doing all this stuff for ten dollars an hour, and he treats me. Like worthless trash. Like I said, he tells me all the time that his wife is pissed off at me because I cost her a million dollars in life insurance. Talking about when those people came in there, you know? That's, that's how crazy. And like I said, he denies all this stuff. He calls me, he calls me crazy. He says, I'm cuckoo, cuckoo. He says, cuckoo, you're cuckoo. And he makes everybody else believe that I'm crazy. He, that's what I'm saying. It's, this is what I'm saying. He has treated me so bad for so long. It's kind of like the only way that I can imagine this is. I mean, I don't know how to even explain to you this. It's like a dog. It's like when nobody's around, you this person kicks this dog, you know, kicks this dog and starves this dog and doesn't give this dog any water. And yells at this dog and curses this dog and kicks this dog and beats this dog. But yet when people are around, he he talks shit about the dog. He said, oh, that damn dog, oh, you know, or, the, or the, somebody will be like, oh, my, what, that dog's growling at you or whatever. You know, I'm afraid, oh, that dog's that dog's going to bite you one day or whatever. And then this Ebenezer Scrooge, you know, this, this Ebenezer Scrooge fucker, he's like, you know, oh, yeah, I do, you know, I, I treat that dog so great, you know, but, yeah, I'm afraid that dog is going to bite me one day. Oh, I'm, you know, I'm, it, 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 this is, it's like, this is the way he's treated me. If people only knew, if people only knew how he treated me when when they weren't around that's what i'm saying and and you you, you want to know a crazy crazy thing this is how insane it is this guy is so insane this ebenezer scrooge is so insane that he he tells people this is what i'm saying this is what he tells he tells me and he, you know he said oh yeah people think people think you're going to kill me one day he said oh yeah people think you're going to kill me That, that's this is what I'm talking about. I, I try to grasp. I want you to try to grasp that right there. He has treated me so bad for so many years. He has cursed me and put me down. And 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 he has treated me like I said. He has treated me worse than anybody I've ever met. Since I've been alive, and like I said, I have dealt with tens of thousands of people, you know, in my lifetime. And he is by far the most Ebenezer Scrooge, narcissistic, unappreciative, most demonic person I've ever met in my life. And, yeah, I want you to grasp all that. And and he's the one that said, oh yeah, people... People think that, you know, I've heard had people tell me that they think you're going to kill me one day. You know, and, and that's, that's what I'm, this is, the, I, I don't even know how to even, you know what I told him? I said, I will walk away from you. I will never speak to you again. I will never see you again. I would have nothing to do with you. I would flick you off and go tell you to fuck yourself before I would ever kill you 
And then your wife gets fucking a million dollars in life insurance money, and then I end up in fucking prison for 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 for, for the rest of my life, or get get to get the death sentence. That's what I'm saying. This this is what I'm saying. This is what I've went through. I'm I'm just saying. I put my life on the line for this for this for this for this millionaire, and he's alive nine more years, at least nine more years, and 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 he's made one. Point eight million dollars to two point seven million dollars easy. And he treats me like worthless trash. He threatens me, threatens my life, threatens to, uh, to, to, to knock my teeth out, calls me stupid and a moron. And he tells me, oh, yeah, people, people tell me that, that, they, that they think you're going to kill me one day. And he's serious about it. That's what I'm saying. Because, like I said, he treats me like this dog. He treats me, but when when nobody's around, it's it's like it's it's like I said, he treats me like the dog that he kicks and he beats and he starves and he does and he and he and he and he, and he, and he, 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 he keeps water away from and he treats horrible. And then next, you know, when people are around, you know, whatever, he's like, oh, I love this dog. I try to do the best for this dog, you know, whatever. But this dog is, you know, I'm afraid this dog's going to hurt me one day or whatever. You know, that's what I'm saying. This is, this is what I've, this is what I've been through with, with this Ebenezer Scrooge, this John Elwes, this, 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 this narcissistic, demonic, horrible, horrible, horrible person. I told him, I said, listen, and I, I'm telling you, like I said, I, if I'm just telling you, I'm not, I don't do drugs. I'm not on any drugs. I'm not drunk. I'm not, I'm of sound mind. I'm just saying I'm, it's, I'm of sound mind. And this is the truth, but I'm just saying if anything ever happens to me, I want you to investigate. People will know. I want you to investigate these two people. Ultimately, I want you to look at these two people. This Ebenezer Scrooge. This horrible person that I've dealt with for over 10 years. And his wife slash business partner or whatever she is. Like I said, you know, she doesn't wear, she doesn't wear an engagement ring, you know. They have Facebook. They're not even friends on Facebook. They don't even mention each other on Facebook. I've stayed at their house before. They don't even have a picture together in the house or whatever. I've known them for well over 10 years, and all I've ever seen, ever seen them do was a, like a quick peck kiss or whatever. I'm telling you, like I said, but if anything ever happens, if anything ever happens to me, I want you to look first and foremost to this guy I'm talking about and this and this woman I'm talking about. I'm telling you, because like I said, you know, he has treated me so horrible. He has treated me. He has played so many mind games. He has he has treated me so horrible for so many years. Like I said, he's treated me like worthless trash. I don't even know how you could worse than worthless worthless trash you know and like i said he this is what he said he said oh yeah people you know people think i've been told people think they're gonna that you're gonna kill me one day and i'm telling you right now i want you to listen to my voice okay i want you to listen to my voice how insane is that how insane of, uh, is that that he would want me to kill him you know what i'm saying this guy i'm telling you he is he is he is demonic what people don't like I said, I have been around him where he's told people to get the fuck out of his store. I'm, I'm telling you, people don't know him like I know him. I'm telling you, people don't know him like I know him. I, you know, I'm, I'm telling you, you know, he's told people, you know, get the fuck out of his store. Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm just telling you, this, this this lady brought in a watch or whatever, and he was going to buy it. And he said, hey, see if you can get this watch wasn't working. He said, see if you can get this watch to work or whatever. So I ended up getting the watch to work. And then next you know, the, the, the lady wants too much for the watch or whatever. So he goes back and tells me. He says, did you get it to work? I said, yeah. He said, well... Fuck it up. He said, fuck it up because, you know, he, I, I'm not going to buy it. I said, what are you talking about? He said, I'm not going to buy it. 
He said, fuck it up where it doesn't work anymore. And I said, no, I'm not going to do that. You know what he did? He, he did it himself. He fucked it up. He fucked it up. He fucked it up to where it wouldn't work. And they told me to put it back together, and he gave it back to the woman where it wasn't working again. That's what I'm saying. I'm telling you the truth. It's happened. I've seen it. I've been there. I've had to deal with this. And the crazy thing is, the lady come back, and he even said, he even, this is what's crazy, the lady came back days later, and he ended, he ended up buying the watch. He ended up buying the watch after I fixed it. And then he told me to fuck it up, and I got it to work. And then he got he he said, "Oh, she's you know she wants too much of it. I I'm not, I'm not going to be able to buy it or whatever." He told you know I I got it working, and then he told me to fuck it up and and and, and mess it up to where it 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 it's it, 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 to make it not work anymore after I fixed it. And I told him, "No, I'm not going to do it." And then he took the what he took it and he fucked it up himself to where it wouldn't work anymore. And then he made me put it back together, and then he gave it back to the woman or whatever. And then she came back days later, or whatever, and ended up selling it to him. And he was joking about it. He said, "Well, look, oh, I fucked up." He said, "He said, oh, well, I ended up buying that, you know." He said, "I ended up buying that, you know." And he said, "I guess I shouldn't have fucked it up." That's what I'm saying. This is what I've went through. I mean, he's told people to get the fuck out of his store. You know, like I said, he's treated me like worthless trash, threatened my life. He has put me down, called me every name in the book, and. and Yeah, look, okay, here's, this is what's, but yeah, if anything ever happens to me, I, I want you to, I, please listen to my voice. If anything ever happens to me, you know, I want you, you I want, I, I want, please, please look at these people first and foremost. Look at this guy and look at this, and look at this guy and look at his wife or business partner, this, 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 this male and female. I want you to look at them first and foremost. Because, like I said, this is what, this is how crazy this is how crazy this guy tells me. He said, "He said, oh, people think you're going to kill me one day." He, he, imagine, imagine, imagine that. And like I told him, I said, "I will walk away." I said, "I will walk away from you." As desperate as I am for money, as desperate I am for money. I mean, that's what I'm saying. For ten dollars an hour, five hours a day, three, three days a week. Like I said, I put my life on the line for this multi-millionaire. They've made $1.8 million to $2.7 million these last year, last nine years, no problem, more than that. And and, 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 this, and this guy treats me like worthless trash and, and, and talks horrible to me and, and just treats me like worthless trash. And I told him, I said, as desperate as I am for this money, I said, I will walk away. I will walk away. I said, I will flick you off. I said, I will flick you off and walk away and never, never step in here again. You know? And that's, I'm just telling you, that's what I've had to do. That's what I've had to do. As desperate as I am, I am in a desperate, I am in such a desperate situation. But you know what? I'm just telling you, right there, that's what I've had to do. I had to walk away from this person. I had to walk away from this person, this business. I had to walk away and just wipe my hands, you know. Because imagine this person, this person. Imagine, I mean, I'm just saying. Imagine this person saying that. And he, he was already talking about, like I said, he was already talking about his wife was pissed off. His wife was pissed off because I cost her a million dollars in life insurance because those people were were coming in there to rob him or whatever. And I, you know, like I said, I called the wife, you know, I called the police or whatever, and I, and and I I did all that stuff or whatever. And I cost, he said I cost his his wife is pissed off, or, you know, because I cost her a million dollars in life insurance. And then, like I said, all these years later, you know, I'm working five hours a day. Three days a week, making a ten whole dollars an hour. I'm doing sales. I'm doing watch repair. I'm listing stuff for sale. I'm make. Uh, I'm look listing stuff for sale on the internet. I'm I'm making sales in the store. I'm taking the trash out. I'm take. I'm going to the to, to the post office. I'm doing all this stuff for ten dollars an hour. After I've already made him and his wife one point eight million or two point seven million, you know, and 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 after all this and. And that this is how desperate, and, and like I said, and, and he said, oh yeah, you know, they, they, you know, people think you're going to kill me. People think you're going to kill me one day, 
you know, and I told him, I said, I will flick you off. I will walk away and never see you, never come in here again or whatever before I ever kill you. And then your wife ends up with a million dollars in life insurance. And then I end up in, 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 in prison for the rest of my life or get, or, 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 or get, or get the, the, the death sentence or whatever. That's what I'm saying. This is how much he pushes. This is what I'm saying. Imagine pushing somebody so hard that he like, this is what I'm saying. It's like he's putting in this, this in my, this, it's like he's putting this in my brain, you know? And, and then he even said, he even said later, he said, yeah, he said, you're probably going to kill me. You're going to, you know, I can't tell you how many times you told this. He told me this. He said, yeah, you're probably going to kill me. You're going to kill me one day. You're going to, you're going to kill me. And I said, are you kidding me? Like I said, I will walk the fuck away. Like I said, as desperate as I am, as desperate as I am, I will walk the fuck away. Never see you again. Never talk to you again. Never walk in the store. I will flick your fucking ass off and walk out this fucking door before I ever kill you. And then your wife gets a million dollars in life insurance and I end up in fucking prison for the rest of my life or, or get the death sentence. This is what, that's what I'm saying. This is what he's, this is what he's, 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 he's dead to my mind. I mean, this is what I'm saying. At 2.18 in the morning... 218 in uh, in the morning 218 a.m. Christmas morning 2019 I'm making this video about this Ebenezer Scrooge this horrible demonic evil narcissistic person that I've I that that I have I have dealt with for all these years that's what I'm saying and if anything ever happens to me if I ever die if I ever get murdered or whatever I, I'm just saying if I ever get something ever happens to me I want I want anybody this this watching this or whatever or listening to this voice I want you to go after I need you to investigate I want you to investigate this 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 guy that I'm talking about this Ebenezer Scrooge okay and I want you to investigate his wife I want you to investigate these two people right here because I'm just telling you this is you know I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a break. I gotta, I gotta stop for a minute. Okay. Well, I'm back, and this is something else that happened. This happened after I put my life on the line for this millionaire and their merchant and his merchandise, this Ebenezer Scrooge for their merchandise or whatever. This is I was taking the trash out. This guy asked me to take the trash out this one day. This Ebenezer Scrooge. And like I said, I was working for him, you know. He, he he asked me to take the trash out. So I took the trash out. And it was heavy. The trash, it, it's, a, it's, it's a big, big trash can. It's not your everyday trash can. <gasps> oh, sorry, excuse me. It's not your everyday tra trash can that you would have in your, in your kitchen. It, it's a big trash can. I mean, I would say it's at least, you know, like three foot tall. And it's one of those wide ones, you know, big wide ones with the big black trash bags or whatever. So. I take the I take this big thing out to the to the dumpster, or whatever. And it's so heavy that I that I I couldn't. So I had to take I. I had to take the whole entire trash bag out. It that the, the, he see that's the thing about it. He load he loads he loads this trash can up. You know why? Because he doesn't give a shit. That's the thing. He doesn't give a shit about me. He doesn't give a shit about me. You know, he he doesn't. He doesn't give a shit about me. Like I said, he is so narcissistic and so much of an Eb Ebenezer Scrooge that this is just another example that he doesn't give a shit. How heavy he makes this. You know why? He doesn't have to take it out. And he doesn't have to lift it up. So I have to take the whole entire fucking bag out or whatever. So I I take the bag out of this big ass, you know, tr trash can or whatever. To, so I can bring it over into the, into the dumpster or whatever. So I bring the bag out. Okay? So 
Next you know, I reach up underneath and I grab this, this heavy ass bag or whatever and I grab it with my right hand and I feel something poke me on my right hand. So I lift up and then, so I have to grab with my left hand to try to lift it all out of there and try to, try to get it over into this big ass, ass dumpster. I feel something poke me. I, I, like I said, I don't know what it was, but it happened so fast. Like I said, I, when I, when I grabbed it to, to get it out with my, to my right hand, I felt something poke and then I just, like natural instinct, I grabbed it with my left hand and I brought the trash, trash, trash bag over to get it into the, to the, to the, to the dumpster and I felt something horrible. It, uh, on, on, my, on my left hand or whatever and I looked down and I saw blood and I knew I knew something was wrong because I saw blood blood was just dripping blood was dripping on, 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 on the ground and, 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 and I knew I knew something was wrong I, I so blood is dripping Blood is dripping all along where the dumpster is. I go back around the sidewalk or whatever, back to the store or whatever. Blood is dripping on the sidewalk or whatever. And I walk in there and I tell him, I said, you never told me there was anything sharp in there, you know? And then he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't say anything. I said, I cut my fucking fingers bad. I said, I cut my fucking, I am bleeding or whatever. And he doesn't. He, he doesn't say anything, you know, I go, I go, I go and I, I go to the sink or whatever and I start, I, I don't really know how bad it is. All I know is there's blood dripping on the floor and everything like that. There was blood dripping all along the, the, the big ass trash can or whatever. So next thing you know, I look at, at my finger and I got a, I've got a cut on my left hand and I got a cut on my right hand and it, my left hand is worse than my right hand, but they're both cut and they're both bleeding or whatever. And I told him, I said, I cannot believe you, you, you did not tell me there was something. You didn't warn me. That's the thing about it. He doesn't give a shit because he doesn't have to do it. He never warned me that there was anything sharp in there that would cut me or whatever. I said, listen, I said, I have no insurance. I have no insurance. I have no car. I said, I said, I'm going to have to go to the hospital. I said, there, I said, you don't understand. There's something wrong. I said, this is bad room. I'm bleeding bad or whatever. He just stands there. He doesn't, you know, I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding all over the floor. I'm, I mean, I've got towels. I've got stuff and I'm bleeding all red, just red, red blood. He doesn't do nothing. He doesn't do nothing or whatever. I'm sitting there bleeding. I said, I said, I cut myself bad. I said, you never even told me there was anything sharp in there. You never even told me, you know. I mean, like I said, I have to work with my hands. I am so desperate need for money. You know what I'm saying? And now I've got two, I'm thinking to myself, I've got two cuts on my hands. I have no health insurance. I have no car. I walk out, I walk back outside and I, I stand out there, out at the sidewalk in front of the store, holding my hands. And there, there's blood on the, there's, there's blood all over the paper towels, but there's blood all over these white, uh, I don't even know, these white, how like things that I that I had to wrap my my, my, my my hands up in or whatever. So I'm standing outside the store. I don't know what the fuck to do. I don't know what the fuck to do. Like I said, okay, I'm working for this Ebenezer Scrooge guy, Scrooge guy who treats me like worthless trash or whatever, you know. And and I and, and I, I just cut myself on both of my hands, and he never even warned me that there was anything sharp in there or whatever. And I'm standing there. I have no car. I have no car. Like I said, this is what I'm saying. This Ebenezer Scrooge, this Ebenezer Scrooge guy knows that 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 my fiance and I are down to one car to share, and this is how bad it is. I'm having to walk. I'm having to walk to work. I'm having to walk to miles to work to work for this Ebenezer Scrooge guy that I've already that that, that, that like I said, he's been alive for nine more years, and and the, 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 he's made he's made at least one point eight million to two point seven million dollars because I put my life on the line for him and his merchandise. We were the only ones in the store. I told him. They were there to rob him. They were wearing clear plastic rubber uh, rubber gloves. You know, I called his wife. Okay, I had the gun pointed at that guy. The guy had the gun pointed at me. I called the police. I did all that stuff or whatever. And he's alive nine more years. And he said any schmuck can make two hundred thousand or three hundred thousand dollars out of the store. And he said his wife is pissed off at me because it cost her a million dollars in life insurance. But he's been alive for nine more years, and he's made at least one point eight million to two point seven million. And I'm having to work for this guy for $10 a fucking hour 
five days of the five hours, ten dollars an hour, five hours a day, three days a fucking week, making a whole hundred fifty dollars an hour. I mean, a whole hundred hundred and fifty dollars a week. I have to fucking walk miles to work because I don't have a fucking car because we have a car to share. This is what I'm saying. This is how fucking crazy insane. And now I fucking cut my... Because he has me taking out the fucking trash along with fixing watches, along with doing sales in person in the store, along with with, with taking the trash out, along with doing watch repair and and, and jewelry finishing and, and listing stuff for sale on the internet and, 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 and going to the post office, all this shit. I'm standing outside the fucking store right now. Like I said, and I'm desperate for money. I have no fucking health insurance. I have no fucking car. I'm bleeding, and and, and I need these hands to, to 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 work or whatever. So I walk back in there and I said, I have no I have no insurance. I said I'm gonna need stitches. I, there there's something wrong. I'm gonna need a tetanus shot. I said I'm I I said I have to. I said. I, I have to go to the hospital. I said, I don't have any insurance. I said, I don't have a car. You know what he told me? He said, you don't have a job. Don't worry about the... I don't worry about... I said, yes, I do have a job. This is what I'm talking about. This is how... Oh, my God. This is how crazy... This is how Ebenezer Scrooge this guy is. In the middle of all this, with me bleeding everywhere, I'm talking about red, soaking red blood on these white towels, dripping on in, in the store, dripping outside the store on the, on, the, on, the, on the sidewalk or whatever. He has the nerve after I tell him I have no health insurance and I have to go to the emergency room. He tells me, well, you don't have a job. I said, yes, I do have a job. I fucking work for you. And that's what I'm saying. See, he has insurance. He has insurance if somebody gets hurt there or whatever. But this is what I'm talking about. This is how much of an Ebenezer Scrooge, how much of a of a narcissistic, self-absorbed person this guy is or whatever. I'm sitting there bleeding everywhere. And he's talking about, oh, you don't have a job or whatever, so you don't have to worry about paying the, the, the emergency room or bill or whatever. That's what I'm saying. This is how insane. This is how fucking insane. How fucking insane this shit is. I'm just saying, to make a long story short, I end up having to go to the fucking emergency room. I have to go to the fucking emergency room, okay? I have to go there, and then next, you know, I get these, I, I, they have, they do what they have to do to fix, to, to, to fix my fingers. They, they, I have to, I have to, they have to clean it out. I'm, I'm bleeding everywhere, whatever. They have to give me a tetanus shot. They, 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 they put this stuff on, on, on my fingers, both of them or whatever, to, 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 to you know, to stop the bleeding and to, to 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 put the cut together, whatever. Then they wrap me up in bandages. They, you know, that so my so my so my I have a finger on my left hand that's bandaged up. I have a finger on my right hand that's bandaged up, or whatever. And so that's what I'm saying. I get hurt at this person's store because. He has me. He asked me to take out the fucking trash, and he doesn't even warn me and tell me that there are there's stuff sharp in there that's going to cut me. To be careful, he does not even warn me at all. And then, like I said, he, t you know, when I tell him that I have to go to the emergency room or whatever, you know, he, he tells me, you know, I tell him that I ha I don't have I don't have any insurance or whatever and I can't afford the electric I mean the, the I can't afford the emergency room bill or whatever and I don't even have a car I don't even have a car he said oh you don't you don't have a job he said you don't have a job I said yes I do have a fucking job I work here I you know I work fucking here you tell me all the time you work for you work for me you work for me you know he's told me before you know this is what I'm saying after all after all this like I said after all this stuff I, you you cannot even believe the stuff that he said to me you know he, he's, he's told me before, he says, he says, when you work for somebody, your opinion really doesn't matter. That's what he told me. You know, that's what he said. He said, he, 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 here's the deal. He said, when you work for somebody, your opinion really doesn't matter. That's what he tells, that's what he told me whenever I was, you know, that's what he, that he, he would say stuff like that to just belittle, to, 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 to belittle me, just to, to belittle me. You know, he would, he would say this, he would say, he would say terrible things and then he'd call me a liar and they'd say he'd never said it before. He'd call me cuckoo you know whatever but i told him i said listen I, I so he so he had to take me he had cuz like i said i'm sitting here bleeding okay i have no health insurance i have no car he ends up having to take me to the to the emergency room but here's the thing here's the thing before he takes me to the emergency room okay i'm standing there and and i have these towels around my 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 my, my fingers okay and I'm bleeding into these towels. There's blood on the floor, okay? There's blood in the back of the of the store, in the front of the store, on the and the, on the sidewalk in front of the store, whatever. 
I'm sitting there bleeding. You know what he tells me? He said he thinks he's going to puke he th because of the sight of blood or whatever. Now listen to me. Listen to me. He thinks he's he, – he said, I, I'm gonna, he said, I'm going to puke. I said, what do you mean? I'm standing here. I'm bleeding or whatever. He's going to take me and drop me off at the, at the emergency room because I don't even have a car or whatever, you know. I mean, I, I can't, you know. He said, I'm going to puke. He said, I, I, you know, he, he can't stand the side, side of blood or whatever. That's what I'm saying. But this is going to come into play later. He called me stupid and a moron. Listen to this. He called me stupid and a moron, and he said I had two tiny little cuts on my hands or whatever. He, you know, he tells me, he said, I don't pay anybody in, in, unless they work. He, he said, oh, I don't pay anybody unless they work. You're, you're stupid and a moron, and you got two little cuts. I mean, that, that that's how crazy and insane and, and Ebenezer Scrooge and narcissistic this guy is or whatever. He has me sitting there refinishing jewelry, and I've got to put plastic gloves on my hands or whatever. And when, when I take a shower, i got to put plastic gloves on. i got to tape it with waterproof tape. Do you think he pays for the waterproof tape? No. Do you think he pays for the gloves? No. Do you think he pays for the galls? No. Do you think he pays for the Band-Aids? No. That's what I'm saying. This is the most, the cheapest, most Ebenezer Scrooge, this horrible, demonic person I've ever met in my life. That's what I'm saying. So, so, so he, so th this is what I'm talking about. He tell, you know, this is the next day or whatever. The next day I have to come back to, I have to come back to work or the, the, the day after I have to come back or whatever. My, I have to, my, both, I have, I'm, I have, I have a finger on my, my left hand that's bandaged up. I have a finger on my right hand that's bandaged up. And like I said, I have to work with my hands. You know what I'm saying? I do watch a pair. I do j refinishing jewelry. I type on the on the computer. I do sales. You know, I do I do all this stuff with my hands or whatever. I you know, and 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 he has me refinishing dirty ass jewelry or whatever. And I'm so desperate or whatever. And I keep on. T I I I said I said, this is what I'm saying. I said. I said, you, I said, I'm sitting here doing this right here because you're, you're too cheap to just let me heal. I, like I said, and listen to this. I got hurt working for him. I got hurt doing something he asked me to do. He asked me to take out the fucking trash, okay? I was working there five hours a day for three, you know, three days a week. And this is one of the days I was working there. He asked me to take out the fucking trash. He never told me there was anything sharp in there. I got caught. I got cut while I was working for, 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 for him. And like I said, he told me, oh, you don't have, you don't have a job or whatever. Talking about, oh, tell them you don't have a job. You can't pay for your, for, for the emergency room bill or whatever. That's what I'm saying. This is how fucking crazy it is. So I have to come back because I'm fucking desperate. But I'm sitting at the at the bench refinishing fucking jewelry, and I, I have to wrap up my fucking hands. Like I said, I don't even have the fucking money. I had to borrow borrow the fucking money to to, to pay for the fucking band aids and the fucking uh, rubber gloves and the galls and and, and 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 everything I need to wrap up my fucking hands or whatever. And I told him, I said, "You're too cheap to just pay me and let me heal." And you know what he yells at me? He said, "I don't pay anybody unless they they work." He said, "I don't pay anybody unless they 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 work." He's yelling at me, and then he calls me a stupid moron, you know, and that. You know that that's what he's, and then he tells me he tells me that he could save money if 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 if, if he didn't have to pay me. That's what I'm saying. This is I, I'm I'm not making this up. This is what I've went through. This is what I fucking went through with this fucking multi-millionaire, this Ebenezer Scrooge, John Elwes, this narcissistic, demonic, this demonic person that I've that I've dealt. And like I said, I call him demonic. I want you to look at the pictures of the, the the Stubbs and Wootens. I've got pictures of the Stubbs and Wooten uh, with the devils, the red devils on there. He has those shoes, you know, and I've told him before. I said, you are the devil, and there's other people that's called him the devil, and I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I am telling you, he is the most, he is. He has treated me the worst out of anybody that I've ever met in my life, and like I said, I have met tens of thousands of people, and nobody, nobody even comes close to how horrible he has treated me, you know, and I, like I said, he has those Stubbs and Wooten devil shoes right there, and he used to wear them at his old store. See, now, like I said, he cries poor or whatever, but now he, he's got his Stubbs and Wootens, but he just doesn't wear them anymore. He wears Gucci, he wears Pradas or whatever, you know, but...
you know, yeah, he has those red devil stubs and Wooten shoes, and I've got pictures. I want you to look at the pictures in this video. That's the stubs and Wooten devil shoes. He has those shoes, and like I said, I told him, I said, you are the devil, and he has, he, he hasn't denied it. He has, that's the thing about it. He has not denied it. I swear, he is the luckiest person I've ever met in my life, and I'm telling you, you know, I'm telling you, because like I said, I've been there before. I'm telling you, he is the luckiest person in business I've ever met in my life, and it would not doubt me one it wouldn't it it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me one bit if he did sell his soul to the devil. I tell you, that's how evil and how narcissistic he is. But the thing about it is around people around people that have money and prestige and you know people that he wants to impress or people that you know he thinks is going to spend money you know with him or whatever oh he's nice as pie to those people oh he is he's nice as pie to those people Never once has I have have I ever heard him tell the get get the fuck out of his out of his store to somebody that had you know a lot more money than him or had you know had had had, had a great reputation in 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 in, in, in you know in. in in the the county or you know you know what i'm saying never once the, you know the people that that he tells to get the fuck uh, fuck out of his store you know the people that he treats like shit are the people that are less than him that have less than him that's i have seen it countless times who he he, he treats me he treats the people that come in there that want you know kind of the the, uh, the people that come in there and and and, and want to sell him merchandise or whatever you know if 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 they say something that that pisses him off, he has no problem get an attitude with them and tell him to get to get the fuck out of his store. Like I said, I have seen it. I've been there so many fucking times. I'm telling you, I have been on the receiving end of it countless times, and I have heard him tell tell people get the fuck out of his store. I have tell I have I have heard him get an attitude with people and raise his voice to people and tell people to get the fuck out of his store. You know, I I I have I have been there when he talks shit about people behind their behind behind, uh, behind their back. I mean, I'm telling you, I can name a whole list of people that he has he talks behind people's backs so much. I I I mean, I'm telling you, you know, like I said, I mean. Like I said, I'm not trying to put myself on a pedestal. I'm not trying to say, I'm just saying, who in their right mind could ever talk, treat somebody like worthless trash after they put their life on the line? You know, I put my life on the line for him and his merchandise or whatever. And over the last nine years, him and his wife or his business partner have made a minimum of $1.8 million to $2.7 million. And you know what? He treats me like worthless trash. He treats me worse than worthless trash. He talks to me like I'm a dog, treats me like I'm a dog. I, I, I say a dog, but he treats dogs 100%, 500%, 1,000% better than he, than, he, than he treats me. I'm telling you, this is, I mean, I just, I don't know. Nobody, nobody would believe me. I don't, I mean, I don't know. Maybe somebody that's went through this or whatever. And maybe you can, I hope you can hear it in my voice. I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. All this stuff that I'm saying is the truth. Uh, I'm telling you. I just, I, I don't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he treats dogs. He treats dogs uh, a thousand percent better than he treats me. You know. I mean, like I said, I've had to walk. Now, this is what's crazy. Like I said, I put my life on the line. I put my life on the line. I risked my own life. You know, it was just him and I in that store or whatever. He lets these people in. You know, these people, he, he the, the, the store's closed. And next, you know, the, these people were at the at the door or whatever. And he opens up the door, even though they were closed. And, 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 and they said that they wanted to buy something or whatever. And he said, well, how much money do you have to spend? And, he, and they said $5,000. Well, like I said in another video, if you say 5000 if you say you have $5,000 to spend to him, that's like pouring a uh, 100 pounds of blood into a uh, into a pool with a, with a with a with a with a great white shark i mean money to 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 him is like blood to a shark i'm i'm telling you he is the greediest he is the greediest most self self absorbed uh ebenezer scrooge narcissistic person i've ever met in my life so yeah like i said i, I was you know uh, you know uh and yeah, I'm just saying, you know, it's, it's right now, it's 2.42 in the morning, 2.42 a.m. 
on Christmas morning, 2019. I've been talking for one hour and 40. Hold on, let me see how many minutes this is. One, I'm sorry, excuse me. My eyes are so, oh my gosh. I'm, I've been staring at these walls for, I've been talking for one hour and 49 minutes and five seconds. And I'm still not done. I mean, I have so much to say, but like I said, if anything ever happens to me, because like I said, he's already threatened my life. And it, like I said, he is, he is so narcissistic and he is so, he is so, he is such a narcissistic person. It would not put it past me at all. It would not put, it would not surprise me at all. Like I said, if something ever, you know, because he is evil. He is evil, and he even says his wife, he said, you, you think, if you think I'm mean, my wife is a lot meaner. You know, that's what I'm saying. This is what he said, you know, and so I'm just saying, if anything ever happens to me, I want you to look into these two people. I want you to, because like I said, what I've been through, and you know, I'm not saying anything against, you know, because his wife, his business partner is not really there. She's not, she's not, she's not really there. He's the one that runs the show, but here's the, that's what I'm saying. This is how shady it is. This is how shady. He said it's his store. He says it's his store, but yet she says it's her store. Okay. He, the, the store is in, is in her name. The business license is in her name. And she says it's it's her store, but it, he says he tells me me and everybody else it's it's his store on his internet listings. He said call me at my store. It's if he if if you know the the only time is whenever she's there. She said yes, it's my store. My he'll she says it's it's her store. He says it's his store. Um, the business license is in her name, but yet. Yet he said that after his he 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 tells everybody now about how his his, his nephew fucked him out of four hundred thousand dollars. That's what I'm saying. This is this is what I'm going to get into next. This is what I'm going to get into next. This is what I've this is what I've went through also. This is what I'm saying. As 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 Ebenezer Scrooge as this as this guy is as Ebenezer Scrooge this guy is. He tells everybody now about how his nephew fucked him out of four hundred thousand dollars. And like I tell him, he said he has it all in writing. He has a contract and everything or whatever, but they fucked him. His nephew fucked him out of $400,000. That's what he tells me. He tells anybody that can, that, 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 that he tells anybody that will listen that his nephew fucked him out of $400,000. That's what I'm saying. And like I tell him, I said, I don't believe that. I said, I don't believe that 1%. You know why? Because like I said, as horrible as he's treated me, and I put my life on the line, and I made him and his wife one point eight to two point seven million dollars by keeping him alive for these nine years minimum or whatever. And like I said, he's a millionaire, and like I said, they got a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry, and they live in a couple hundred thousand dollar house, and they have rental property, have they have a lodge and all this stuff or whatever. He said that he he was going to sell the, the he was he was going to sell the, the 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 business to his his nephew or whatever, and they had a legally binding contract or whatever. But this is what he tells. Tells me, and this is what he tells everybody else. Listen to this shit. This is what I'm saying. As now, this does, like I tell it just it makes zero fucking sense. I don't believe it. Like I tell him, I believe him as much, and I trust him as much as I can pick him up and throw him. And I don't ever want to lay a hand on him. I would never have, and I never will. I'm not going to lay a hand on him. Like I said, he he has played so many mind games with me. He has mentally, he has just mentally tortured me for 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 for. for well over 10 years. I mean, imagine having somebody mentally torture you for, for over 10 years, over 15 years. That's what I'm saying. This, this is what I'm saying. He, he tells everybody that, that his, that his, anybody that will listen, he tells me, he tells the vendors, he tells uh, 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 customers, he tells everybody that his nephew fucked him out of $400,000. This is what he tells me. He said he tells, he, he said they came in there and he said he did the contract with them to where that they didn't, he, he said he didn't have to pay them, uh, he didn't have to pay this Ebenezer Scrooge guy a dime for a year. That's what I'm saying. This guy taught him. This guy taught him jewelry repair, taught him the business, taught him everything or whatever. And this guy did not, that this, that his nephew didn't have to pay this Ebenezer Scrooge guy a dime for a year. So this is what, this is what this Ebenezer Scrooge guy says. This, this, this Ebenezer Scrooge, Scrooge guy said him, his nephew came in and, and basically didn't pay him a dime for a year, but took every, took every dime that the store made for a year. That's what he said. 
listen to that shit. This is what he tells me, he tells everybody else, and then he just walked out. That the nephew just walked out. He said he had a legally binding contract, but the, but but the, but the nephew doesn't have anything in his name or whatever. And he said, "Oh, how can you sue somebody if you? It's like getting what is it called? For, oh, oh uh, getting something from a turn water from a turnip or uh, blood from a turnip or whatever. You can't. What are you going to do? You know that's what I'm saying. Oh, what are you going to do? Sue somebody that doesn't have anything? And I'm thinking to myself." You tell everybody, there's there's no, listen, I know this guy, I know this Ebenezer Scott guy, I know this Ebenezer Scrooge, narcissistic, this demonic, this guy who is in love with money, who, 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 who claims to be poor, but he, you know, who claims to be tired, hungry, and broke, but he's a fucking multi-millionaire or whatever, and he, he, you know, it's not money, money is not the root of all evil, it's the love of money, and this guy loves money, this guy, this Ebenezer Scrooge guy loves money, I've never met anybody in my life that loves money more than he does, okay? Okay, so I'm telling you, this is what I'm saying. He he tells everybody. He tells me, and that's why he's crying poor. Whatever he cries poor, you know. Oh, the, you know. Oh, I could do this or I could do that, but my nephew fucked me out of four hundred thousand. He tells everybody that my nephew fucked me out of four hundred thousand. Tells the vendors my nephew fucked me out of four hundred thousand. Tells customers that my nephew fucked me out of four hundred thousand. Tells me. Tells everybody. He says that he did a contract with his nephew, and he his nephew came in and. His nephew didn't have to pay a dime on the business for one year. He said he did a 10-year contract with his fucking nephew. He did a 10-year fucking contract with his nephew, and his nephew didn't have to pay him a dime for one fucking year. That's what he says. And then he, and he, said, he said his nephew took, was able to take all the money that came to the store. His nephew was able to take it and put it in his own pocket for a one entire year. So he tells everybody how his nephew took 400000 He said that's what, that's what he made in, the, in, in, in that year. He said he made $400,000 in that year and that his nephew took it. And then all of a sudden he decided not to, not to buy the store and then just up and left. So he tells everybody that his nephew... If you fucked him out of $400,000, he tells everybody that. That's what, he's, that's what I'm saying. And I tell you, like I tell him, I said, I believe you as far as I can pick you up and throw you. I don't. I trust you as far as I can pick you up and throw you. You are a compulsive liar. Okay, why in the fucking world would you do a contract with somebody when they don't have any, any, they don't have any assets or any money to back it up? You know what I'm saying? And then you let them take everything from Jump Street. You let them come in here and start taking all the money, and don't and they don't have to pay you a fucking dime for a year. And they take every every bit of money for a fucking year, and then all of a sudden they just decide not to buy the store and they up and leave. And you just let them. I said I don't give a shit who it is. I said you would not let Jesus Christ take four hundred thousand dollars from you. He, he, that's what he said. He said he said he had he said they took four hundred thousand dollars of cash cash money away from him. That's what he says. The whole entire year, he didn't get a dime. He trained these people, taught them jewelry repair, taught them everything. And, and this guy, the nephew, took all the money out of the store. And then all of a sudden, when the year came up for him to make his first payment, he just left. He decided to go back. He, de he decided to go back to, to, to a different state. I said, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. I said, you wouldn't let Jesus Christ take $400,000 from you. I said, you wouldn't let the Pope take $400,000 from you. I said, you wouldn't let your, t you wouldn't let your, let your mom take $400,000 from you. You wouldn't let anybody on God's green earth take $400,000 off of off you. He said, well, you can blame me or not, but that's what happened. That's what happened. I said, are you fucking, I said, are you, ki are you kidding me? I said, are you fucking kidding me? I said, you know, that is insane. And, it, and yeah. That's what I'm talking about. This guy is such a compulsive liar. There isn't, I'm telling you, there's no fucking way under God's green earth, you know. And like I said, like I said, he wouldn't let Jesus Christ take $400,000 from, and like I said, his wife, his business partner, sure as hell wouldn't let him just walk away with $400,000. You know what I'm saying? If, if, if he says, oh, you think I'm mean, my wife is, you know, a lot meaner or whatever, there's no fucking way that his wife would let him, let, let somebody take $400,000 off of them. And I sure as hell, Ebenezer Scrooge, this guy, Ebenezer Scrooge, this, 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 this narcissistic, demonic, um, just John Elwes horrible person, there's absolutely no way. But yeah, he swears up and down. Oh, well, you've never been in business. You don't understand. You know, you've never been in business or whatever. I said, listen, nobody, nobody would ever, ever. And oh, and then this is what I'm saying. This is what's crazy. This is what's insane about this guy. Like I said, this is crazy. He says that he has to still pay him back the down payment. Now, I want you to grasp that. I want you to grasp that. He treats me like worthless trash. He... He talks to me and treats me like worthless trash. After I put my life on the line for him, 
I mean, I put the life, my life on the line for him and the, and, the, and, and the merchandise, and he's alive for nine more years. And he said any schmuck can make 200000 or $300,000 a year out of the store. So out of these nine years, he's made a minimum of $1.8 million to $2.7 million, okay? And his wife, he says his wife is pissed off at me because I cost her a million dollars in life insurance, but I did not cost her. Nine years later, I've made, now this, imagine this, I've made them a million dollars. I've kept him alive to make a million dollars. And then on top of that million dollars, he's made $800,000 more to $1.7 million more minimum. And I get treated like worthless trash. I get my life threatened. I get, I, I have to, like I said, I was working for him. Making ten dollars an hour after 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 I've been in the in the, the business for over twenty years, and after I do sales in store sales, after I do watch repair, after I do jewelry repair, after I list list stuff for sale on the internet, after I go to the post office, after I do the trash or whatever, I get paid ten dollars an hour, working five hours a day, three days a week, mostly Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So Monday I would work. Five hours and make fifty dollars. Wednesday, I'd work five hours and get paid fifty dollars. Friday, I'd work five hours and get paid fifty dollars. And a lot of those days, I would have to walk. I would have to walk miles to work. I would have to cross traffic. And you know what? This is how this is how cheap this guy is. This guy said, "Oh, I'll, you know, do you want to? Hey, I'll give you a ride. I'll give you a ride." That's what I'm saying. Now, this is what I'm saying. This is how crazy, insane this guy is. So cheap. That he would offer me a ride after I after I have I put my life on the line and he's made a minimum of one point eight million dollars to two point seven million dollars. He offers me a ride. I said, "Are you kidding me?" I said, "You can buy me a fucking car." Oh, and when I wh this is what he said when I hit the lottery. Imagine this. This is what I'm saying. I I, I I'm not making this up. I, I'm telling you, I'm not making this up. This is this is what he tells me when I hit the lottery. If I hit the lottery, you're the first one on my list. If I hit the lottery, then I'll, you know, I'll take care of you. This is what I'm saying. How insane is this? How insane, fucking insane is, is, is this? You know, this is what I'm saying. He offered me a fucking ride after I have to walk to work and he, he pays me $10 a fucking hour, working five hours a day, three days a week or whatever, you know, and I have to walk miles to work. Like I said, do you think I'm going to get in a fucking vehicle with him? Hell no. Hell no. I trust him as as far as I could pick him up and throw him. Like I said, I don't trust him at all. He is the most Ebenezer Scrooge, John Elwes, narcissistic, evil, satanic person I've ever met in my life. The most, the greediest, the greediest, money-hungry, uh, self-centered, uh, cheap, uh, person, Ebenezer Scrooge person I've ever met in my life. He is horrible. And like I said, he tells everybody, uh, like I said, as, 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 as cheap as he is. And like he said, he tells me, and then he curses me and he says, Oh, I don't know shit about business. You know, I, you know, when he talk when I, when I tell him, I said, there's no way under God's green earth that you would, that, that nobody in their right mind, nobody would do a fucking Nobody would do a 10-year fucking contract where you don't have to make the first payment for a year, and then they walk in, and they start making every single dime that comes in the store. Those people get to put in their pocket for a fucking year, and then all of a sudden after a year, they just decide that they don't want to do it anymore, and they up and leave, and then you've got to – you have to return the, the, the deposit they gave you, and then you say that they fucked you out of that 400000 that they took from the store? That's what I'm saying. This is how insane. But then he t tells me that he has a fucking contract or whatever. But, you know, oh, you can't get blood from a turnip or whatever, you know. And I got a fucking legally binding contract or whatever, but you can't get blood from a turnip. But they took $400,000 from me. He tells everybody, 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 I'm telling you. He tells everybody that his nephew fucked him out of $400,000. I'm telling you. It it's, it's fucking insane. You know, but like I said, he had no problem, you know, I'm having to walk to work, you know, whatever, and he, he pays me 10 hours a fucking hour. He, he, he you know, he, he claims he's he's tired, hungry, and broke or whatever, but yet he's a fucking, you know, multi-fucking millionaire or whatever, and I put my life on line for him and his and his wife and, you know, may, may, you know, keep him alive where they make, where he makes $1.8 million to $2.7 million over the least, these last years or whatever. But you know what? Next, you know, he's he, he's driving his vehicle, and you know what? 
what does he do after all this shit, after I'm walking to work or whatever, and he's talking to me like I'm a dog and treating me like a dog. And I say a dog, but he, like I said, he treats dogs 500%, 1,000% better than he treats me. You know, I don't even know what, worthless trash. That's only, uh, he, he treats me like I'm worthless trash, talks to me like I'm worthless trash or whatever. Next, you know, he start, he trades in his fucking uh, vehicle and gets a, a, a brand new vehicle, you know, after he's crying all, 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 all poor and shit. You know, that's what I'm saying. Uh, that, that's what I'm saying. This is fucking crazy. Fucking crazy insane. This is fucking crazy insane. I'm going to just stop that right here because... And I, oh, I've got more. That's what I'm saying. It, it's fucking crazy. Okay, here's another here's another story. And I, like I said, I want you to believe. Please believe. I'm not lying. This is what I am saying is the truth is the truth is the truth. And I have, I have lived it. I have I have lived it. And I am so fucking down and out right now. It, you know, like I said, this is Christmas morning. Christmas morning, 2019. It's 2.58 in the morning. 2.58 a.m. Christmas morning, 2019. Right now, I've been talking for two hours and four minutes and 53 seconds about this this satanic devil, this Ebenezer Scrooge, this John Elwes, this narcissistic fucking person that I've I swear that's what I'm saying and here's here's this is this is all I've went through and like I said if anything ever happens to me like I said my blood my blood is in his store my blood is in that store in his store his wife's store his business partner's store whatever it is you know what I'm saying whatever they are you know like I said he wears a wedding band but she doesn't wear a, an engagement ring or a wedding band you know and she says that you know he 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 sold he sold her engagement ring hers he sold her diamond or whatever you know and like I said they both have Facebook pages but neither one of them has has either one as a friend or has either one like married to so and so or whatever that, you know that's what I'm saying this is how crazy it is this is how crazy insane it is and like I said this lady says she's the owner she's the owner but yet he says he's the owner but yet. The business license is in her name, not his name. But then he said that when his nephew fucked him out of $400,000, that he had to get the, 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 the business put back into his name because he signed the fucking business over to the nephew. But yet the business is in his wife or business partner's name. It's not even his name, even though he he puts on the internet and everything, you know, call me at my store. This is my store. He tells everybody this is my store. The only time is when his, his wife or business partner is there. And I've, I've been there. This is my store. She'll say, this is my store. He'll sit there. He'll sit there and she'll say, this is my store. And he won't say, he won't say nothing. Like I said, it's, 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 this is, it's, this, it's the, it's the shadiest he is the shadiest, this is the shadiest situation, that he is the shadiest person that I've ever dealt with in my whole entire life. Like I said, he, 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 he's told me stories, he's bragged about how he used to, he, he, he used, he, 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 he said he's a second, this is what I'm saying, he said he's a second generation jeweler, that his father was, had a jewelry store or whatever, and that he grew grew up in the jewelry store, and to make a long story short, he said he ended up leaving the jewelry store, and he started working for this this big this big jewelry chain, and he started out at the bottom. He said, "Oh, I, I started out at the bottom, making less than a minimum wage an hour." This is what's crazy. There's no fucking way he started out making less than less than minimum fucking wage. You know what I'm saying? He's a second generation jeweler. You know what I'm saying? And he, this, he is he is he he lies. He lies more than any person I've ever met in my life. He is a compulsive liar. He is a compulsive liar. You know, he, he tells me, you know, he had to start at the bottom and he had to work for, started out working, uh, the, you know, uh, for less than minimum wage, blah, blah, blah. And he ended up being a district manager or whatever. And he would tell me stories about how, you know, he had all these, you know, all he was, he, he, he was district manager and he was in control of all these stores or whatever and all these employees. And he would brag about how he'd walk in there or whatever and everybody would tremble and he'd go in there and just fire everybody or whatever. And then he said he, you know, he, he said he started his own business or whatever, you know, and he, he, he used to, 
he said he had somebody he had he he had a chauffeur he was he had somebody chauffeur around in a limousine he, you know he was he was in a limousine and he had a he had a chauffeur limousine or whatever and he had a bodyguard and he had nothing less than a hundred dollar you know he had nothing less than, he carried nothing less than a hundred dollar bill this is all the stuff that I'm I'm saying and then and then he said and then he he said when he when he when he met his he, he when he met his wife or his business partner or whatever he said all he wanted to do was just carry her bags he said all I wanted to do was just carry her bags or whatever you know that that's what I'm saying. You know, this is, it's, it's fucking insane with this guy, you know? And like I said, he brags about how he was district manager and about how he, uh, you know, uh, you know, he was district manager of this large jewelry chain or whatever, and how he had all these stores or whatever, and all these employees and how they, people trembled, you know, and were so scared of him. He'd go in there and just fire everybody or whatever, and he, how he had his own business and how he had the limo, the chauffeur the limousine, and carried nothing less than a hundred. But like I said, but with me, that's what I'm saying. He brags about all this stuff, but yet I put my life on the line for him and his merchandise and his wife's merchandise or his business partner's merchandise. I put my life on the line, and he has said out of his own mouth that any schmuck can make 200000 a year to 300000 a year out of that store, no problem, okay? And he's been alive nine more years. So by me putting my life on the line for him and his wife and his business partner's merchandise or whatever, they have made a minimum of $1.8 million, almost $2 million, to $2.7 million, almost $3 million in these last nine years. But yet he treats me like worthless trash. He treats me like worthless trash. He talks to me like I'm like I like I'm 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 I don't even know. I can't even compare it. That's 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 what it is. I have nothing to compare it to. I I, I don't. Just imagine. I I I I, you, I I don't even know how to even compare to how bad he treats me. But like I said, in front of other people, you know, he calls me cuckoo. He calls me cuckoo, and he says, you know, he tells me that uh, that uh, the people say I'm going to kill him one day or whatever. And like I said, I told him, I said, are you fucking shitting me? You know, his wife said that I cost her a million dollars. But in all reality, I've made them. I've made them almost $2 million, $1.8 million to almost $3 million, $2.7 million in these last year, last nine years minimum. And I get treated absolutely horrible. And like I said, every time his wife has been around, his wife is, honestly, his wife has never done anything for me. Like I said, this is how insane it is too. This is how insane. She she would tell me that good, Goodwill's hiring. Imagine that shit. Imagine that fucking crazy shit. Imagine that. I put my life on the line for your merchandise and for your husband or whatever, and he's been alive for nine fucking years. And, 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 and he's made, you know, almost... Two million, one point, a minimum of one point eight million dollars to almost three million, two point seven million dollars in these past nine years, and you're telling me that Goodwill's hiring? That's what I'm saying. She knows that I that I'm in I'm in bad, terrible, bad financial situation, and she tells me that fucking Goodwill's hiring. Can, can you fucking believe that shit? Can you fucking believe that shit? She tells me Goodwill's fucking hiring. Oh, and she did She did give me a fucking coat from Goodwill. She did give me a fucking polo coat, a used polo coat that she got from fucking Goodwill. And she did She did um, dry clean it. She's given me a used polo coat that she got from dry, uh, Goodwill and dry clean. She, she's done that, and she's told me that fucking Goodwill is hiring. And she brought me one cup of coffee, and I believe it was some cupcakes, and Ebenezer Scrooge, her husband or business partner, talked shit about me and said that I wouldn't eat it, that I didn't trust her, and that I wouldn't eat it. And like I said, he turns it around on me. He makes me look horrible. He that's what I'm saying. Imagine that shit. She brings it in there. He tells me that she, he tells me that she's pissed off at me because I cost her a million dollars, okay? In in life insurance money. And then 
she brings in a cup of coffee and cupcakes, do you think I'm going to eat something from somebody who's pissed off at me because I cost him a million dollars? Fuck no, I don't give a shit. No, I'm not going to do it. But does he need to? But he does he need to? I I didn't say that to her. I said, why the fuck didn't you just take the the coffee and take the cupcakes or whatever? You know. But you know why? He wants to make me look bad. He wants to make me look bad. He told her that I wouldn't fucking drink the coffee, that I didn't trust her, that I wouldn't eat the cupcakes, that I wouldn't drink the coffee because I didn't trust her. That's what I'm saying. That's how fucking – that's what I'm saying. This is what I fucking go through. This is what – this is what the fuck I've, I've went through. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Ever since in 2010, whenever I put my life on the line – for this Ebenezer Scrooge, narcissistic, John Elway's demonic, satanic devil fucker, and he's been alive and made at least $1.8 million to $2.7 million. He's treated me like worthless trash and has tortured me m- mentally more than I can even explain. Yeah. And then his wife and business partner, like I said, what has she done for me in, in, the, in these nine years? You know what she's done? She gave me a used polo coat that she got from Goodwill. And like, like I said, she did have it dry cleaned, and I, I thanked her for it. And I never, I, w- I, I never said anything. You know, I thanked her for the coat. I was very polite. But she gave me one used coat, and she brought me a cup of coffee and, and and a cupcake. That's what that's in nine years. Yeah, like I said, she comes in and never once have I seen them since I have known them since 2002. Never once have I seen them have more than a peck, peck, kiss. Just one quick little peck. That's it. In and out, gone. She comes into the store, leaves, peck, kiss, gone. That's what I'm saying. And I even text her. I text her. And I explained to her the situation about, and I told her. I said, you know, I said, your husband, you know, tells me that you're pissed off because I cost you a million dollars in life insurance. And I explained to her that I have a blood condition and I got to watch what I eat or whatever about the coffee and the cupcakes or whatever. Do you think she responded? No. She didn't even respond back. You know, like I said, she's smart. She's smart, you know. She never acknowledged it, didn't didn't respond back, but you know what? Her husband, the Ebenezer Scrooge fucker, the devil, the evil, you know, narcissistic, yeah, he made a comment, you know, he made a comment about me texting her about that. That's what I'm saying. You no, know, I've been in their I yeah, I've been in their house, you know, I had to house it whenever they were gone or whatever. I had to take care of the dogs, you know. He would he, this. This is what I'm crazy. He he would, he would loan me money. He would loan me money, and then he would fucking charge me interest. Charge me fucking vig. You know that's what I'm saying. That's fucking cra- crazy. Before I put my life on line for him, and after he would he would loan me money, and then he would charge me interest. Call me charge charge me fucking vig on the fucking money. You know. And he had me staying at his at, at the at the, at the house watching the dogs when they were gone or whatever. And like I said, you know, never once did I see a picture of them two together in that house. That's what I'm saying. Never once did I ever see a picture of them two together in that house on their Facebook pages. You know, they don't even mention each other. They don't even mention marriage. They don't even mention each other or whatever. You know, it's, it's, it's fucking, it's, 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 it's the shadiest. It's the craziest. It's the, I'm telling you, like I said, if anything ever happens to me, I want you to look into these two people, you know, because yeah. And, and like I said, this guy right here, this Ebenezer Scrooge, this is what I'm saying. This guy made a comment, and I'm telling you, this is the truth. I'm telling you, this guy made a comment. He made a comment. This Ebenezer Scrooge, he said, because he, he, this, this, this one of his one of his friends was getting fucked over by somebody, and this is what this Ebenezer Scrooge fucker said. This is what he said. He said he said to me, he said, if anybody fucked me over, listen, listen to this. He said, if anybody ever fucked me over, like they're fucking these people over, he said. He said that person would catch a bullet. He said he told me he said that person would catch a bullet. He said I'd I'd catch that motherfucker and I'd bring him in and I'd set him down and I'd put a gun in his mouth. And he said I he said then I'd just go to jail. 
He said, "No, I, I wouldn't." He, he said something, about, and then, and then, and then he, he, he noticed that I was. Uh, I'm just saying, he noticed I was listening or whatever, paying attention and do whatever. He said, "No." He said, "He said I would just make him a paraplegic. This way, I, I don't get the death sentence." That's what he said. You know, that's what I'm saying. This is how evil and demonic and narcissistic this person is. Yeah, he, he, like I said, I, I'm telling you, this is, this is, I'm not making this shit up. I'm not delusional. I'm not crazy. This is all shit that, that's happened. This is all shit that I've been through. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is all shit that I've been through with this, with this, you know. And like I said, he's closed down now. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm sitting here like this. I'm fucking broke. I'm in fucking debt. I have a fucking three foot tall Christmas tree that, that, that someone gave me that has a couple lights on there and th there are zero presents. I have zero presents under the tree. I have zero presents for, for, to, for, to, to, I have zero money to get presents. I, I'm in debt. I have to worry about how I'm going to pay my, uh, you know, rent, uh, car payment, car insurance, food, uh, 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 electric, gas. I have to worry about all this stuff. I have to live day to day. And this guy, the store's closed up. You know what? He 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 closes the store up for a week. This is he he'll he, he'll be gone for a week. He'll be he'll, he'll open the store back up at the at the at the first of the year, January the second. Uh, around January the second, he'll open the store up. He he closes the store for 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 from from he'll close. Christmas Eve, and he'll be closed Christmas from Christmas till after New Year's. He'll open up uh, on the second of, New of 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 January, usually second or third. He's gone for you know, like I said, he's that's he takes he takes that vacation you know every single year you know while I'm while while I am sitting here at three fourteen in the morning, three fourteen a.m. December twenty fifth, two thousand and nineteen. And I've been talking for two hours and 20 minutes and 17 seconds. He's sound asleep in his, you know, couple hundred thousand dollar house. Going to be going on, you know, vacation, you know, just taking, taking time off or whatever, you know. And I'm, 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 I'm sitting here, you know, just beside myself. You know, that's what I'm saying. Uh, what's 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 he? This is, and this is another truth. This is what's insane. The, the, there's a person. Like I said, I have nothing against people who come to America legally. I have nothing, absolutely nothing, with people that come to America legally, legally, the right way. But all I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna say this: this Ebenezer Scrooge. This John L. Wes, this satanic, demonic, narcissistic devil, he treats a person who came to America illegally a, a thousand percent better than he treats me. You know why he treats him better? Because he can cut, he cuts his, 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 his lawn perfect. He used to cut his lawn perfect. He would work out in the lawn with him. We would work out in the yard with him. And this illegal, this illegal who, who came to, who came to America illegally would, would, would cut his grass and do yard work with this Ebenezer Scrooge. This narcissistic Ebenezer Scrooge fucker, and he talks so good, he talks so highly about this illegal, and like I said, I have nothing against this person, but I, I have, I have, yes, I have a, a, I have a horrible problem with somebody who treats, in a, 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 I have, I have, yeah, for somebody that treats, I, I put my life on the line for him. And his wife, business partner, merchandise or whatever, and he's been alive for nine more years and made at least one point eight million dollars to two point seven million dollars. And you know what? He treats that illegal who used to cut his grass the way he wanted to perfect and would do yard work for him perfect. He treats that 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 guy to this day a thousand percent better than he than he than he than he treats me and that he's treated me. Let let that sit, sink in. I'm telling you, this is the truth. Uh, I, I, I don't even, I, I, I wouldn't even know where to begin to make this up. That's what I'm saying. 
he, he, you know, somebody that came to America illegally and somebody that can do yard work for him, he treats a thousand percent better than somebody that put their life on the line for him and the merchandise and that he's been alive for nine more years and made at least $1.8 million to $2.7 million, not including so many other things that, that I, like I said, I'll, I'll get into or whatever. I mean, this is, like I said, that's what I'm saying. This is what's, he had, I, here's another story. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Here's another story. He had a, he had a watch or whatever. And I ended up, this is, this is, this is an honest to God, true story too. He had a watch that he bought or whatever. And I, like I said, I did all, I did so much work and I got him in touch with the leading expert, the leading expert. I don't even know. How do I even say this? Huh. Okay. Here's the thing. Here it is. This, this Ebenezer Scrooge, this narcissistic Ebenezer Scrooge, satanic, demonic, selfish devil ended up buying a Rolex, okay? He ended up buying a Rolex. And I ended up doing all this research on this Rolex or whatever. And to make a long story short, I got him in touch with James Dowling, okay? If you want to look up James Dowling, James Dowling, they call him Mr. Rolex. He is he is the expert, the leading expert, or one of the leading experts in the whole entire world on Rolex watches. Rare Rolex watches. I got him in touch with James Dowling. I took pictures. I sent pictures. I got his, uh, James Dowling's phone number. I got him in, in touch with James Dowling. To make a long story short, he ends up selling this watch to James Dowling. Okay? I do all this work. He makes this, this, this Ebenezer Scrooge guy makes tens of thousands of dollars profit on this Rolex. Do you know what he gives me? Nothing. Not a, not a fucking dime. Not a fucking dime. You know what? It took me years. It took me years of begging and pleading. And you know what I ended up getting from him? $200. I ended up getting $200 off of this Ebenezer Scrooge, this evil, satanic, narcissistic Ebenezer Scrooge. Years later, after begging and pleading, after he made, after I did all the work, and got him in touch with James Dowling and, 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 and arranged and got, got the watch to James Dowling and everything and the, the deal was done. And after this, Ebenezer Scrooge got the money and everything. He didn't give me a fucking dime. It was years later that I had to beg and plead for years and ended up getting 200 fucking dollars cash. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. This is... Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. This I I have so many stories like that. Here I'm gonna tell you another story. You wanna hear? This is another story. Uh, every, everything that I've said in the past is true. What I'm gonna tell you now is true. Okay, like I said, I don't give a shit if this Ebenezer Scrooge or his wife or anybody calls me a liar, calls me crazy or whatever. This what I have said is the truth. Is the truth. Is the truth. Is the truth. Okay, it's the truth. Okay, I'm not lying. I'm not crazy. This is what I've been through. Like I said, this guy acts totally different whenever he's trying to make a sale or when he's around people that have money or, you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. He's two, two sides. He, 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 he is, you know, if, if you know anything about narciss narcissism or whatever, you know what I'm saying? This, you know, he'll talk, he'll, you know, he'll talk, you know, oh, why everybody else loves me. Why don't you love me? You know what I'm saying? Why do you always have a problem with me? You know, everybody else loves me, he says. You know, everybody else talks great about me. Oh, look at my, look at my 100% positive feedback, you know, on, on eBay, he says. Look at my 100% positive feedback on eBay. I just like, he said, he said, I like to, 
this, this is him talking. This is this Ebenezer Scrooge fucker, this, this, this evil narcissistic person talking. He said, sometimes I just like to read all the great things that they say about me. That's what, that's what this guy said. He said, why are, why are you all, you know, well, why, why are you so, why are you so mean to me? He said, you know what I'm saying? Why are you so mean to me? Everybody loves me. Why don't you love me? You know what I'm saying? That's what he's, that's what I'm saying. It's, he plays fucking my games. And like I said, all this shit after I put my life in line for him and his wife or whatever the merchandise, and he's made a minimum of $1.8 million to $2.7 million. He talks, he talks this shit to me, you know? Yeah. What, 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 you know? Yeah. Why does everybody loves me except for you? You know, look at the, my, my, my 100%, 100% positive feedback on eBay. You know, I, why, why can't you, why don't, why can't you, you know, everybody loves me. Why, where, you know, and then he puts me down, you know, calls me crazy, you know? But yeah, listen to this. Listen to this story, okay? Okay, here, okay, here, here, here's the story. Like I said, what I've said in the past is, is, is the truth, and what I'm going to tell you now is the truth. This person came in, and to make a long story short, this person was like, yeah, I got this, this, this big, you know, diamond ring or whatever, this big, big diamond ring or whatever, and, uh, this Ebenezer Scrooge, you know, fucker, whatever. He's like, yeah, right, or whatever. You know, sure you do. And uh, this this person's like, oh no, I do have it. It's in in my car in the in the glove box. And this Ebenezer Scrooge, you know, he's like, yeah, whatever. Okay, go get it or whatever. Well, this person goes out there and gets it. Guess what it is? It's a fucking eight carat, eight carat emerald cut diamond in a heavy platinum mounting. I shit you not. This person. Brought in. Now, I don't know if you know what an 8 carat diamond looks like or the value, but, you know, yes, diamonds are graded, you know what I'm saying? There's very, you know, there's different grades, you know, color, cut, clarity, carat weight, fluorescence, you know, proportion, you know, yes. But here's the thing. To make a long story short, he finds out that it is, it's a real fucking diamond it's a huge fucking diamond it's an eight carat emerald cut and a heavy platinum mounting heavy platinum mounting come to find out it's almost nine carats it's 863 863 emerald cut and I, like i said it, it this is you can you can listen to this story because I put it in one of the other videos I did a while back on Ebenezer Scrooge or whatever. But yeah, he ended up getting this. Now he didn't know it was 863. He didn't know all this stuff or whatever. He ended up getting, this is what the thing, this is, like I said, I, I tell you, this is the luckiest guy I've ever met in my life. This is the luckiest guy when it comes to business I've ever met in my life. And here is a prime example. Here is a prime example of his luck. He ended up getting the stone on Nemo for fifty thousand dollars. He didn't have to. He didn't have to pay a dime. He didn't have to pay a dime for this. For this. For this. 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 This eight carat, this eight sixty three emerald cut, and this platinum mounting. He didn't have to pay a dime. He told these people that he would give them fifty thousand dollars. He would get. He need. He needed the stone for X amount of days, and that. At the end of these X amount of days, that they would get fifty thousand dollars for 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 this for for the, for this ring and this diamond, and they agreed to it. So he, I'm just saying, he arranged through Polygon to meet somebody at their house who did diamond grading or whatever. And I ended up going. I ended up going with this Ebenezer Scrooge fucker, and I I rode with him over to this guy's house. We go up into this guy's house. This guy has an office up there, or whatever. And at this point, the diamond is loose. He's taken it out of the platinum mounting. The guy, you know, checks out the diamond. He measures it. He he puts it underneath the microscope. He does everything. He finds out that it's an 863. It's of high. It's a, it's it's a high high. It's it's a high quality. It's a you know. It's a high quality 863 genuine emerald cut diamond. Okay. So. He finds out all this stuff. We end up leaving this this person's house. I go back to the store with him, ride with him or whatever, and he ends up he ends up wholesaling this diamond to a diamond dealer in New York. And he has 
a person that he deals with with diamonds. And that's the thing. He has one person. He has one person that has a diamond connection. So what he did was he met this guy. He met his friend who has has connection in the diamond business or whatever. This is this is this is Ebenezer Scrooge's connection in the diamond business. He he Ebenezer Scrooge went to the airport. He gave the diamond to his to his friend who 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 has connections in the diamond business. His friend w flew to New York and did the diamond deal in New York or whatever with this guy or whatever. To make a long story short, you know how much this Ebenezer Scrooge ended up making on this this diamond? This is what I'm talking about. He ended up making over a hundred thousand dollars profit on this this diamond. He ended up giving he ended up giving fifty thousand dollars to these people. He didn't have to come up with a dime out of his pocket. He didn't have to come out with any money up front. He ended up selling this 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 diamond to the wholesaler in New York. He ended up making a hundred thousand dollars profit after he he paid these people fifty thousand dollars for for the, for the diamond, the eight sixty three emerald cut and the platinum mounting. I shit you not. I shit you not. I'm telling you. Like I guess. Do you think? Do you think he gave me a dime to ride with him from the store to that person's house who graded the diamond, and we left, you know, the house or whatever, and went back to the store? Do you think he gave me a dime for ride with him? Absolutely not. After and this is this is another crazy fucking story. After he ended up, I was there. I was there when he did the deal. To get the stone for fifty thousand dollars on memo, I was there in the store when he did that. After those people left and he locked the doors or whatever, the eight sixty three. It was like it, it, it's 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 like uh, an emerald cut. An emerald cut is kind of like a rectangle shape. Okay, it looked like a ice cube. I tell you, I shit you not. I I don't know how to explain to you how big a almost nine carat emerald cut looks like but it looks like a it, it looks like a clear ice cube and after he ended up doing the deal here's the thing i'm standing there the the 863 diamond is sitting on his desk he said i gotta go take a piss this is what he said he said i gotta go take a piss this is his exact words that's what he says you know if he's got to go take a leak or whatever he said i gotta go take a piss yeah like I said, this is the same person that's been so blessed or whatever, but yet he uses the Lord's name in vain. He GD this, GD that or whatever. But, you know, yeah, here's the thing. He said, I got to go take a piss. Now, he didn't have any cameras in the fucking store. No cameras in the fucking store, okay? No fucking cameras in the whole entire fucking store. These people left. I'm in, I'm in this, I'm in, I'm, I'm sitting there with this, I'm standing next to this diamond on his desk, nobody in the fucking store, after he's treated me like worthless trash for all these years, I'm just saying, after he treats, I, I, I'm just saying, anywhere, anywhere, and I'm just saying, anywhere, any diamond dealer would, would, would give you $100,000 cash, no questions asked for that, for that, for that stone. Any diamond dealer would give you $100,000 cash with no questions asked for that 863 emerald cut high high color high clarity high quality diamond and, you know I'm just telling you he's treated me like worthless trash I'm the only one in the store those people are gone he's in the back of the store door closed taking a piss and I'm standing there with this fucking little this uh, it's not little, but it's it's little. But I'm just saying, for something that's worth a hundred thousand dollars that you can put in the palm of your hand, it's it, you know if it's in the palm of your hand, and you're holding something that you could take anywhere with no questions asked. And I'm talking about no bartering, no nothing. You just give the stone to a diamond dealer. He checks it out, and you say, "I want a hundred thousand dollars." He doesn't even argue with you. He gives you a hundred thousand dollars, no question to ask. You leave. He's I'm just saying. But what do I do? I stand there. I stand there. Just stand there. I guard the diamond until he comes out after taking a fucking piss. And he's bragging about. He's bragging, bragging, bragging. You know? 
He always brags, 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 you know. Oh, I can't fucking believe I got it for that. I can't fucking believe that's a fucking nice stone. Oh, that's fucking, you know, I'm just telling you, he goes on and on and on, on and on and on. You know, he makes, that's what I'm saying. Imagine making a hundred thousand dollars off of a deal without having to come up with any money out of, out of pocket at all. That's what I'm saying. This guy has made more money than I, I've ever met anybody that I've ever dealt with in my whole entire life. It's not that he works hard. Like I said, he doesn't. Like I said, he said, he said any schmuck, he said any schmuck can make 200000 or $300,000 a year out of the store. Okay, but like I said, I've been there where I, I've been in the store with him. There would be nobody in the store. Nobody would walk in the store in the whole entire day. Nobody be in the in the parking lot or whatever. You know, that's what I'm saying. I would be, you know, doing stuff or whatever. You know, of course, I would have to be working my ass off for my ten dollars an hour. You know, but he'd be on the on the on the phone. You know. Shooting the shit with people, you know, talking about people, cursing, laughing, joking, you name it or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But yet he's talking about how he doesn't have any money and how his nephew fucked him out of $400,000 and, you know, treat me like worthless trash after I've made him and his wife, you know, keeping him alive and, you know, to make $1.8 million to $2.7 million easy or whatever. And his wife's pissed off at me because I cost her a million. But I, imagine that. I'm just saying, imagine, I know I keep on saying it over and over and over, but it's fucking insane. It's fucking insane. I didn't cost her a million dollars. I, imagine that. I've actually made, I mean, but in all actuality, if I would, I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying, if I would have left and said, fuck you, you know, fuck you, I told you that they had rubber gloves on, they're here to kill you, they're here to rob you or whatever, if I would have fucking left and didn't even call his wife or nothing, you know what I'm saying, and then they would have shot him and killed him or whatever, taken the merchandise or whatever, you know, then, yeah, his wife or business partner may have got a million dollars and he'd have been dead, but here's the thing, nine years later, nine years later, he's they've he's made a minimum of $1.8 million out of that store to $2.7 million out of that store, minimum. But yet his wife said I cost her a million dollars. And he would tell me all the time, you you know, my wife's pissed off at you because you cost her a million dollars. That's what I'm saying. And I'm dirt, I'm dirt, dirt poor broke. You know what I'm saying? I'm having to walk, walk, walk to this Ebenezer Scrooge fucker's place to, to, to make $10 an hour, five hours a day, three hours a fucking day a week, you know, after I've made him and his wife, you know, $1.8 million to $2.7 million or whatever, and they, he treats me like worthless trash, and she does nothing for me, you know what I'm saying? I get a used coat, and she brings me one cup of coffee and, a, and, so, and, some, and some, some cupcakes, and then he talks shit about me, not, not eating it and drinking it, you know, because you know, cause he talks shit about, you know, I'm just saying because he tells me that she's pissed off at me because I cost him a million dollars. Would you, would you eat something or drink something from somebody that is pissed off at you that, that you cost him a million fucking dollars? I don't give a shit. I'm not going to do it. I don't give a shit. You know what I'm saying? But yet he talks shit about me and makes me look bad. You know? That's what I'm saying. And then she tells me, Good Goodwill's hiring. Imagine that shit. Imagine that shit. Imagine you make somebody, you keep you keep somebody's husband alive or business partner alive where they can make, you know, they, they can make, you know, they made $1.8 million or $2.7 million and then you tell the person that put their life in line and, you know, kept them alive or whatever, you know, to make that $1.8 million or two point seven. Oh, Goodwill's hiring. That's what I'm saying. This is what I've went through. And I'm sitting here now, Christmas Eve. It's 3.36 in the morning. 3.36 a.m. Christmas Eve, 2019. And I've been talking for 2 hours, 42 minutes, and 6 seconds. Yeah, I mean... I'm just telling you, there have been so many times where this person has had a Rolex watch or something that I have wanted so bad, but I haven't had the money, you know what I'm saying? And, and I, you know, on Christmas time, you know what I'm saying? I've, I've had dreams, you know, where he would be nice to me. I would have a dream, and not in, not in reality that he would be nice to me, but I would, I would literally dream, you know, I would want, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm, I'm just saying... You know when you don't have the money to buy something, but you have you 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 
you see all this stuff or whatever, and you work your ass off, and like I said, you put your life on line for somebody, and they're fucking millionaires, you know? And you think that, you think that eventually, eventually this person is going to do the right thing, but you know what? He's never, never, never done the right thing. Never. This person has never said, the words, I'm sorry, have never came out of his, his mouth. Like I said, this person has never said, I'm sorry. This, I've never seen him cry. The only, I've never, I've seen him get angry. I've seen him laugh. But I've never heard him say, I'm sorry. I've never seen him cry. I, I don't know how to explain it. I just, it's, it's something that you would have to be around for all these years and have to experience. And this is what I'm saying. This is, this is, this is how I'm going to, you remember that person that he bought the diamond off of the 863 and then he made a hundred thousand dollars off of. So he gave these people $50,000 for this diamond, this 863 in this, in this platinum mounting. He gives them 50,000. He ends up turning it around and he ends up making after he gives them the 50000 he ends up making over $100,000 profit. That means $100,000 that he has profited off the deal, okay? Now, these people, they want a watch that he has. This, this is what I'm talking about. This is talking, I mean, this is what I'm talking about, Ebenezer Scrooge. I mean, I'm telling you, I'm trying to, to give you every factual event that, that I have experienced to, 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 to prove my point here. Okay? This person wants this watch that this Ebenezer Scrooge guy has. Okay? He tells these people he loves this watch or whatever, but he would sell it to them for $5,000. He, he wants $5,000 out of this watch. Whether it's trade or whatever, it's going to be worth $5,000. Okay? This is the same deal that he made $100,000 already off these people. He's already made $100,000 off these people right here. And he's telling these people that he wants $5,000 for this watch. Because he loves this watch. And blah, 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 or whatever. Which he does. He does love this watch. You know, guess guess how much he has into this watch? 400 fucking dollars. He bought the fucking watch that he wants $5,000 off of. After he's already made $100,000 off these people, he bought it for $400. And yes, I know, it doesn't matter what you pay for something. It matters what it's worth. I understand that. But I'm just talking about, imagine you've made $100,000 off somebody. You've made $100,000 off somebody, but yet you, you, will only, you will only sell or trade to these people for $5,000 for your watch. When you have $400 into the watch. And he had the watch. I'm just saying. He had the watch on the internet for sale. Guess how much he had it on the... Anybody. Anybody could have bought it. Anybody could have bought this watch. This watch that he wants $5,000 off of. After he made $100,000 off these people. Guess what they, he could buy? They could, anybody, anybody could buy it off. He... He, they could buy it for two thousand dollars. I, I shit you not. I shit you not. He had it for sale on the internet for two thousand dollars, and he paid four four hundred dollars for the watch. He tells the people that want to buy the watch. That he wants five thousand, he wants five thousand dollars off the watch and trade or whatever. But he's already made a hundred thousand dollars minimum off off of off of these people. He's done he's done so many deals with these people right here. He's made I'm just off one deal off one deal he made a hundred thousand dollars profit. I would say off every other deal that he did with these people he made a minimum minimum of fifty thousand dollars. So I'm just saying he I he. This Ebenezer Scrooge has made a minimum of $150,000 profit off these people, 
And these people want this watch that he has on the internet, but they don't know that. They don't know that he has it for sale on the internet for for two thousand dollars, but he tells them that it, to bring in something for trade or whatever that he wants five thousand dollars for this watch. Bring in something for trade that's worth five thousand dollars, and he'll trade them for this watch. But he loves this watch, and he's only got four hundred dollars in this watch. This is what I'm saying. This is how insane, you know. This is how insane it is. And and here's the thing. This is what I'm saying. This is how insane. This Ebenezer Scrooge, and this is the truth. This is the fucking truth. I, I, I swear. You know, and here's the thing. I want, you know, I've, I, I want, I, I, I like to watch too. You know, I'm sitting there and I'm working. Like I said, I've made, you know, this, this, he's already made minimum 1.8 million to 2.7 million dollars. Okay, in these past nine years or whatever. Okay, and I, I tell, I don't have the money, but I, I, I like to watch too or whatever. You know. You know what he tells me. He said, if he hits the lottery, if he hits the lottery, then he'll give me the watch. That's what I'm saying. It's always the lottery. If I hit the lottery, you know, I'll buy you a car. If I hit the lottery, I'll give you this watch. That's what I'm saying. This is how insanely crazy. And here's another thing he told me. Somebody, a mutual friend of ours, said that they would, that this, this mutual friend would give this Ebenezer Scrooge guy a Rolex presidential with a diamond dial and diamond bezel, basically like a eight thousand dollar Rolex, an eight thousand dollar Rolex. So this person said that one day he will give Ebenezer Scrooge this eight thousand dollar Rolex. Just give it to him because he's he's promised it to him. Okay. So this is what this Ebenezer Scrooge guy told me. He said, "Listen, if I win the lottery." Tens of millions of dollars, millions, you know, I'm just saying that millions of dollars, he's got to win the lottery for millions of dollars for him to do something nice for me. Or this guy's got to give him a free $8,000 watch, minimum, eight, It's you know, I'm just being, it's an 18 karat yellow gold, men's Rolex presidential, sapphire, uh, diamond, diamond dial, diamond bezel, you know, I'm just saying about an $8,000 Rolex presidential. He said, yeah, he said, if, 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 if he, if he gives me that Rolex presidential, then I'll give you this watch. So. That's what I'm saying. This Ebenezer Scrooge told me he's got $400 in this fucking watch, but he loves this watch. And I tell him, I said, he could give me that watch or whatever. I said, you're a fucking millionaire. Buy another watch. But I got to have a watch, he said. I said, you're a fucking millionaire. I said, go to on Polygon or go somewhere and buy another fucking watch. You know what I'm saying? I put my life on the line for you and your merchandise and your wife. And like I said, you'll have made millions of dollars. You know what I'm saying? You'll live in a couple hundred thousand dollar house. You'll have multiple rental properties. You'll have a, a, a fishing lodge. You know what I'm saying? You've got hundreds of thousand dollars with our inventory. You know, all this stuff or whatever, you know. And yeah, but he says... If he wins, if he win, if he hits the lotto, then he'll give me that watch. Or if that guy gives him that men's 18 karat gold, yellow gold presidential, sapphire, diamond dial, diamond bezel, then he'll give me that that watch that he has four hundred dollars into, all because he he loves it. And that's what I'm saying. That's how narcissistic. That's how Ebenezer Scrooge. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that I put my life on the line for him and. You know, that he's made millions of dollars and that he's lived nine more years. It doesn't matter that he, he likes the watch. He loves the watch. That's all that matters. It doesn't matter that he made over $150,000 profit off these people doing deals. Imagine making $100, $150,000 off somebody, but yet you want to charge them $5,000 in trade for something that they could buy on the Internet for $2,000 any day of the week. And that he's got $400 into. I'm telling you, this is the truth. This is the fucking truth. This is the truth. And that's, I don't know, it's... And I'm going to go back to where I cut my, I cut my fingers. Okay, so he drops me off. You know, I have no car. Like I said, I have to, I, I'm, I'm having to walk to work. I'm having to walk to work to make $10 an hour, five hours a day, three days a week. That's what I'm down to. That's, that's what I'm... And I cut my hands, both, I have, I cut a finger on my right hand, I cut a finger on my left hand, I'm bleeding, you know what I'm saying? And I'm bleeding so much that he said he's going to throw up, that he, I'm standing there in the store, 
and I've got my hands wrapped up. There's blood on the floor. There's blood on the sidewalk. There's blood in the sink. There's blood on the trash can. But yet I have to stand there because he's going to drop me off at the emergency room. But I have to stand there while he is getting nauseous because he because. Uh, of the side of the blood, because there's so much blood. Now, here's the thing. There's so much blood that he's getting nauseous, okay? But yet, two days later, when I come in there, he has me re refinishing. He has me refinishing jewelry at the dirty, dirty workbench with, like I said, one finger on my right hand is fucked up, wrapped up. I have to wrap it up, you know, with gauze and bandages and, and waterproof tape, and I have to put gloves on or whatever on my right hand and on my left hand. Imagine refinishing jewelry, polish, polishing jewelry, rings and necklaces, you know, it's charms, doing all that stuff with your hands all fucked up like that, and him and I get into it. And like I said, he, he calls me stupid and a moron, he calls me stupid and a moron, and he, he, he tells me, he tells me that he doesn't pay anybody unless they, 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 they work, and that if I wasn't there, that he could just save the money. I, that's the truth, I swear. I'll put my hand on the Bible. I'll put my hand on the Bible. I'm telling you, this is all the stuff that's happened to me. This is, this is what I'm saying. I will put my hand on the Bible and tell you this is what... That's what I'm saying. This is that's what I'm saying. It's it's so fucking insane. And it like I said, I had to buy I I'm I'm poor. I have to live day to day or whatever. I have to buy the the bandages, the gauze, the waterproof tape, the 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 glo the, the, the rubber gloves or whatever because I have to wrap up my hands or whatever so they they don't get you know, dirt doesn't get in there and water doesn't get in there or whatever, you know, because I can't afford, I have no insurance just like I told him and he knows He knows that, you know, and I have no money, I have no insurance, you know, my fiance and I have to share a car or whatever, I have to walk, it's miles, miles to, 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 to work anyway, cross fucking, you know, heavy traffic and shit, I'm just telling you. And he gets, he, he yells at me and he, and he curses at me and calls me stupid and a moron. And he told me that he, he just, if I, you know, just, just leave, he said, you know, I'll save the money. That's how cheap he is. I'll save the fucking money. A hundred and fifty fucking dollars a week. You know, that's what I'm saying. A hundred and fifty fucking dollars a week after I put my life on the line for him and his, and his wife and their merchandise or whatever. And he's made a minimum of 1.8 million to 2.7 million. He t calls me stupid and a moron. He calls me stupid and a moron. And, 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 and it tells me I have two little cuts. He said, you, he said, you got two little cuts. I don't feel sorry for you. You got two little cuts. This is the same guy. That was that was about ready to throw up because of the side of side of blood because there was blood on the sidewalk and in, in, in the in the front of the store the back of the store on the on the uh, the, the the trash can in, in, in the bathroom on the sink yeah then that's whenever he tells me you know I'm a, I'm stupid and a moron and I just have two little cuts and he doesn't feel bad for me and he doesn't pay for anybody he doesn't pay anybody unless they work and that he could he could save money if I just leave that's what I'm saying this is what I you know. This is what I'm, and and like this is and the, like this is what's crazy. This is another thing that's crazy. I tell him, I said I don't have the fucking insurance. I said when I get the fucking bills, I'm giving you the fucking bills. I said you did not tell me there was anything sharp in there. You did not warn me. You packed that shit so heavy. You didn't tell me. You did not tell me there was anything sharp in there. Like I said, you you didn't have to take the shit out. You didn't have to take the shit out. You didn't care. All you cared about is you got a great deal and you were bragging about the great deal that you got or whatever. And I'm telling you, I said, listen, I'm going to bring you the fucking, uh, I'm going to bring you the fucking uh, bills. You know, I got two fucking bills. I got a bill from the fucking emergency room and I got a bill from the fucking doctor, you know. And I ended up bringing in, I, listen, I told him, I said, listen, I trust you as far as I can pick you up and throw you. Listen, like I said, I do not trust him. I don't trust him at all. And honestly, I don't trust his wife or his business partner. I don't trust them at all. Like I said, I have known... To be honest with you, I have known them for over 15 years. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, this guy is the most Ebenezer, evil, satanic, demonic, narcissistic, unappreciative, John Elwes, Ebenezer Scrooge person I've ever met in my life. And like I said, his wife or business partner, you know, like I said, I, you know, she just, you know, she knows, she, she knows, you know, I'm just saying, she, she knows 
how bad I, I don't know. Like I said, I don't even know how to explain it. But you know, it's 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 like it's like someone that knows about somebody being abused. It's like somebody that knows about it but does does nothing about it. That's what that's that's what that's what that's what she's done for all these years. That's what she's done. You know, she's she's known about it, but she's never did anything to help me out. She's never done anything to help me out. Like I said, in all these years, the truth is, the truth is, I got one used coat and I got a cup of coffee and, and some cupcakes or whatever. And she told me that Goodwill is hiring after I've made them well over $1.8 million to $2.7 million. You know what I'm saying? And after I... Like I said, I do watch repair. I do jewelry refinishing. I list stuff on the internet for sale. I take pictures. I do sales in the store. I take the trash out. I, t I go to the to the post office. I get him his fucking coffee. I get food. I do all this shit. That's what I'm saying. I put my life on the line. And this is, this is what I'm saying. And you know what he tells me? He said, I don't want to hear about your problems. That's what he tells me. I don't want to hear about your problems. You know, this Ebenezer Scrooge, he tells me, I don't want to hear about your problems. After all this, after after all this, after after making him, like I said, the longer I've known him, the more narcissistic and evil and selfish and just horrible, demonic devil he's turned into. I'm telling you, the more that the luckier that he has been and the more that he's the more money he's made and the, and the, the deals, the deals that he's done all these years. He has, he has, he has, he has, he has become meaner and meaner and more narcissistic and more evil and more satanic to me. And like I said, he doesn't act like this when people are around. He acts like this when nobody, he treats me like this when nobody is around, when his wife's not around, when his, when, when no customers are around. This is what I'm saying. And this has happened for years and years and years and years. It's fucking insane. I mean, like I said, this is what's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I'm just, you know, yeah. I've got so many stories. I mean, I really have got so many fucking stories. It's unbelievable. I mean, this is how nar narcissistic and Ebenezer Scrooge this guy is. He wanted me to, 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 he wanted me to make up several email accounts to put false reviews on his on on his business for Google. How fucking that's what I'm saying. He said he wants more. He wants more. He said he had somebody doing that. He said he had somebody that he would uh, you know, he would he he would pay, he would pay people to 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 put false reviews on his store for 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 e on on Google, his Google reviews. That's what I'm saying. It's the truth. This is the truth. He had he had a girl. He had a lady who was who 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 was paying people at at Tennessee Tech. He was paying she, he was he was paying people five and ten dollars to 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 put a a a a a, a, a five star review on on his store. For Google to build up his 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 Google reviews. That's what I'm. And he wanted me. He wanted me to open up multiple accounts and put uh and and to and, and to, to 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 put because he wanted more five star uh uh Google reviews for his business. I'm telling you, it's the truth. It's the truth. Is the truth. That's what I'm saying. This is nothing is ever good enough. Nothing is ever good enough. He always wants more and more and more. You know, he brags about how he sold over a million dollars on eBay. You know, he brags about how he sold over a million dollars, you know, on eBay or whatever. But yet he treats me like worthless trash, you know what I'm saying? And he tells me, you know, like I said, oh yeah, yeah, and, and like I said, this is what's crazy. And like I said, and I was talking to you about when I got my fingers cut, I brought him in those those two, two, uh, those two, those bills or whatever. And I said, are you going to pay? I said, I have no insurance or whatever. I said, I got hurt in your store. You never warned me or whatever. You know what he told me? He said, I'm going to turn it into the, I'm going to turn it into the insurance company. He never, never would say that he would take care of it. That's what I'm saying. This is how shady and how shitty this guy is. How shady and shitty and horrible this guy is. After I've made them, after I've made him and his wife over 1.7 or 2, 1.8 million or 2.7 million dollars. You know, like I said, he fuck he, he and I need like I tell him. I said, why in the fuck would I would I want to hurt my my hands on purpose? I said, I'm fucking broke. I need the fucking money. I use both my fucking hands. I I didn't do this shit on purpose. You know what I'm saying? You you know he, you you saw all the fucking blood. You know what I'm saying? Why why, why you, 
you know, and that's what I'm saying. He tells me, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to turn it in the insurance company. It's up to them. He would never tell me, yes, I'm going to take care of it. Yes, I'm going to make it right or whatever. So I, here's the thing. I didn't show up anymore. I had nothing to do with them. I said, I have nothing to do with them. I said, listen, I have nothing to do with you until you pay these bills or whatever. So I called him up. I would, I would call his business, or whatever. And I'd say, have you heard anything from the insurance company? Oh, I'm busy or whatever. You know, I'm busy. And then he hang up on the phone. I'd call back or whatever. A couple of days later, I said, have you heard anything? Oh, I'm busy or whatever. He'd hang up the fucking phone or whatever you know and then I, I would call I would I, 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 I would tell him I said listen this is not my fault I got hurt in your store you have insurance or whatever I gave you the bills I said I don't have the fucking money or whatever I'm broke I said I work for you for 10 fucking dollars an hour you know five days I mean five hours a day three days a week for a whole 50, 150 fucking dollars you know what I'm saying and the 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 the, the, the bill is like two thousand dollars both bills it's like a thousand for the emergency room and a thousand for the fucking doctor or whatever you know what I'm saying that's what I'm saying. So I, I end up having to quit him. I, 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 I quit him totally. I quit him. I, I, I said, you know, I, I'm not showing up or nothing or whatever, you know. And I said, are you going to pay? Are you going to pay the bill? I turned to the insurance company. That's all, that's all I can tell you. Click, hang up on me or whatever, you know. And then, and then, and then after, after, I don't even know how many weeks and weeks and weeks or whatever, I call back and I say, listen, I said, has, have you heard from the insurance company? Oh yeah, they're going to take care of it. I said, well, that's, oh, I, you know, I always told you, you know, I would take care of it and blah, 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 bullshit. That's what I'm saying. The only time he said he would take care of it is when the insurance said they would take care of it. He, you know, like I said, we're talking about a multi-fucking millionaire, Ebenezer Scrooge fucker or whatever, where I put my life on the line and I made him and his wife and his business partner a minimum of $1.8 million to $2.7 million. And like I said, he fucked me over. You know, I have to go through the pain. I, my, my the, the right finger... I have arthritis, and it's hard. To, I'm, I'm just telling you, I'm going to have less lasting damage in that finger on my left hand and lasting damage on the right hand. Do you think he gives a fuck? He doesn't give a flying fuck. You know, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. He doesn't care about the pain. He didn't. He never once did. He, did, he, did he say he would reimburse me for the for the for the gloves and for the band aids and for the you know all that stuff that I had to spend that I couldn't afford to spend on you know that I didn't have the money that I had to go to the dollar store and buy the stuff or whatever? Do you think he ever reimbursed me? Hell no. You know, that's what I'm saying. All this shit. And, oh, and then he said, oh, I thought we were friends, you know, after, that's what I'm saying, after I call up and I said, you know, is, did you care from the insurance company? Oh, yeah, no problem. They said they would take care of it. I thought we were friends or whatever. That's what I'm saying. He is the shadiest Ebenezer Scrooge, evil, devil, narcissistic person I've ever met in my life. I thought we are friends, he says, you know. He, whenever he wants something, like I said, he will use you, he will abuse you to get what he wants and what he needs. That's what I'm saying. He treats dogs a thousand percent better than he than he has treated treated me. That's what I'm saying. He treat he he treats an illegal. He treats an illegal. Somebody that came to America illegally a thousand percent better than he treats me. That's what I'm saying. I just it's it's fucking insane. It's insane. And then he'll he'll say stuff like I said he'll say he'll say stuff when nobody else is there whenever I'll call him on or whatever he'll say oh I never said that he'll say you're cuckoo cuckoo you're cuckoo he'll he'll, he'll make believe he'll tell me I'm crazy he'll tell everybody he'll tell uh, he'll tell everybody else that I'm crazy too like I said you know that's what I'm saying he 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 and then like I said he he I mean after all of this he tells people you know. After he tastes, oh, you know, there's there's a couple of people that say that you're going to kill me one day. You're going to kill me, you know. And I said, are you kidding me? I said, I will flick you off and I will walk the fuck out. I will never talk to you again. I'll never see you again. I'll never step these doors before I fucking kill you and you're dead and your wife gets a million dollars in life insurance. And then I fucking go go to go to prison for, you know, the rest of my life or, or get the death sentence. You know what I'm saying? After all this mental torture, after after all as as horrible as he has treated me for 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 ten plus years, fifteen. I'm just saying all these fucking years. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm saying. He'll kick back on the phone and talk shit or whatever. You know. You know that's, that's what I'm saying. He has. It's fucking crazy. Huh. 
on eBay or whatever. That's what I'm saying. He got pissed off at me because he, you know, he was on the phone talking to this person or whatever. And, you know, he, he wanted me to bid on, he wanted me to bid on one of his fucking items or whatever. It's called shill bidding. When you bid on an item, but you never, you don't intend to, to purchase it or whatever. He says, oh, I need you to bid on this item for me. I said, no, I'm not going to bid on the fucking item for you. I don't have no fucking money. I'm broke. I don't have any intention to buy the fucking item. I'm not going to fucking jail. I said, do you think you're going to bail me out of fucking jail or prison? Fuck no, or whatever, you know? So he, he calls up this guy or whatever, and, you know, this guy's whatever, and, the, and bragging or whatever, and, he, and, and, and this Ebenezer screw just talking, and he's saying, oh, I've got a, you know, I've got a number of people. That t do you think you're the only one or whatever? He said, I got five or six people or three or four. Or, you know, he was bragging about how he had multiple people to shill bid on his, on, his, on his eBay items. That's what I'm talking about. I'm telling you, this is, it's fucking insane. And yeah, if anything ever happens to me, I want you to look into these people. I'm telling you, I want the, I want the, the police I want everybody to look into these two people, this male and female. God forbid if anything ever happens to me, because like I said, he has threatened my life before, and he already said, he said, if you think I'm mean, my wife is a lot meaner. So, you know, and he already said, whenever there's people over there, we're going to rob me, and who knows what the fuck that we're going to do, you know. Uh, he said, oh, if you think that whatever they were going to do to you was bad, you know, he, he said, he said, you know, he, he said, if you ever talk bad about, you know, me or my wife or the business or whatever, he said, I'll kill you or my wife will kill you. And she's a lot meaner than I am, you know. That's what I'm saying. It just, you know, huh. I just, this is what I've, this is what I've dealt with. And now it's fucking Chris, Christmas morning. It's four o'clock in the morning, 4.03 a.m. And I've been talking for three hours and nine minutes and 42 seconds. Well, that fucker and his wife and business partner are sound asleep. They're going to wake up Christmas morning. They're going to enjoy the good life, play with the dogs. They're going to go on vacation. They're going to have a good time, spend money. Now, well, I got to, you know, I'm sitting up here alone at 4 or 4 in the morning, Christmas morning, you know, I have to worry about have to live day to day while those multi-millionaires, while he cries poor or whatever, but they're not, they're not poor. They're multi-multi-millionaires, you know. He cries poor. He's not poor. He's not, you know. And this is another example. This is another example. This is, this is, this is true. Like I said, this is true. All the stuff that I've been through, I've witnessed it with my own eyes, my own ears. I'm, I was physically there. All these stories that I've I've been telling you, you know, are true events. I have been there. I've witnessed them myself over these past 15 years, 15 plus years. This is another example. This person came in to the store and uh, this Ebenezer Scrooge has did deals with this person. This Ebenezer Scrooge has made thousands upon thousands of dollars off of this person. Okay, profit. And this person comes in there and this person asked to borrow. This person said, listen, I have nothing to, I have nothing more to sell, sell, but I am in really, really bad. You know, I, I just need, I need $200. He said, I, it's, I'm not, it wasn't, I'm not going to say he or she. I'm just going to say this person said that I'm in, you know, I'm in a bad situation I don't have any more to any any more to sell. I have nothing else to sell, but I have this pocket watch that was my grandfather's or my dad's or whatever. And this person says, "I know it's not worth two hundred dollars, but it's my grandfather's or my father or whatever." And um, I will please. I need to just borrow this two hundred dollars for a week, one week, and I will come back in a week. You can hold the pocket watch. And when I come back in a week to pay you the $200, then I'll pick up the pocket watch. And this person said, listen, I know that the, I know the pocket watch is not worth $200, but it's sentimental value and I'll be back. Okay. Now listen to this. This Ebenezer Scrooge has bought items off this person multiple times. And this Ebenezer Scrooge has made 
thousands upon thousands of dollars profit off of buying these items off this person. And this person comes in here and is desperate and needs to borrow $200 for a week and is going to leave their father's or grandfather's pocket watch as collateral. Guess what Ebenezer Scrooge says? No. He says no. He said, I don't have the money. I said, I thought to myself, I, I, it, I, this is what I was thinking. I mean, as desperate as I am, as broke as I am, and debt as I am, I was thinking to myself, if I had the money, I would give this person the $200, you know? I would give this person the $200. But this Ebenezer Scrooge, I could not believe it whenever I heard. That's what I'm saying. I still, after all these years, I still, still, his, his depth, depths, his depths of, of Ebenezer Scrooge and John Elwes, this just, it still surprises me how cheap and unappreciative he is. Whenever he said no, I about, I could not even believe it. I mean, this Ebenezer Scrooge would brag to me and brag to other people about how often this person would come in and sell merchandise and how the how he's made a ton of money off this person. And then when this person comes in and just needs 200 measly do dollars. I mean, this person, like I said, this person... I'm just saying this person came in multiple, multiple, multiple times and sold him a lot of merchandise that he made thousands upon thousands of dollars. I mean, I'm going to think it was about $5,000 profit he made off of this person over... But I'm just saying... And they came in desperate, needing to borrow two hundred dollars. And he—that's what I say. I'm thinking roughly he's made about after off all the deals, he's probably made about five thousand dollars profit. And this person needs to borrow two hundred dollars for a week, and will leave the pocket watch. And he says no. I could not believe it. I mean, that's what I'm saying. This is how Ebenezer Scrooge. How sorry, sorry, sorry this person is. You know, from him telling you know people to get the fuck out of his store. And like I said, I'm just, like I said, everything he's put me through, I just, I don't know. And he'll be closed for a week, you know, starting, you know, last night he closed the store. He'll be closed for at least a week. He'll be back in the store after the new year, probably about June, January the 2nd or so, January the 3rd. And you know the main reason why he does that? He shuts down a week after Christmas to minimize the returns. You know, that's what I'm saying. It's all about the money. To minimize the returns, even though he doesn't give a money back, you know, it's not a money back thing. It's an exchange, you know, he'll close down. That's the reason why he closes after after Christmas, to minimize the returns. He just closes down the store, takes a vacation, and minimizes the returns of merchandise, you know. I don't know. It's fucking crazy. It's fucking crazy. But yeah, this is this is what I've went through, and this is where I'm at. And uh, I don't know. The truth needs to be told, though. That's the main reason why I'm doing this. I mean, I'm I, like I said, I I can't, you know. And here's the thing. And like like I said, this is what's insane. I'm just saying this is another thing. I know I keep on saying insane, and I know I keep on talking about the millions of dollars, you know, the 1.8 million or 2.7 million, you know, all the stuff. I know I keep on saying it over and over, but I'm just saying this is another thing. This is what's crazy. Imagine putting your life on the line, you know, for him and the and his merchandise and his business partner's merchandise or his wife's merchandise or whatever, and they, you know, he ends up making 
a minimum of $1.8 million to $2.7 million over these past nine years. And imagine this. You're his only quote unquote employee. And he would brag. He was bragging. Like I said, he bragged about how he was district manager from this big, large chain or whatever. And how he had, you know, he was over these so many different, you know, these all these stores and had all these employees and how, you know, he would brag about all that and how he would he, people would, you know, shake in their, you know, they would just be so scared when they he walks in and, you know, when he would just fire people, you know, just, you know, when he would brag about all that stuff. And I. I, I am his only one employee. Do you think he remembered my birthday? Do you think he remembered my birthday? No. He couldn't care less when my birthday was. He couldn't care less. He had one me. After he, 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 he used to brag about how he had all these stores and all these employees and all this and all that. I put my life on the line for his for his life and his hundreds of thousands of dollars from the merchandise and I made him and his wife millions of dollars him and his wife millions of dollars do you think he would even remember my fucking birthday absolutely not absolutely not nope you know I said I said I can't believe it I said you forgot my birthday again you know that's that's what I'm saying since 2010, I'm just saying, ask me how many times do you think he's remembered my birthday since 2010 or even before? I'd say in 16 years, maybe one time. You know why? Because he doesn't give a flying fuck. If it doesn't benefit him, he doesn't give a shit. And ask, ask me how many times since 2010, since I put my life on the line for his, that he's remembered my birthday, zero. Ask me when he's ever went out of his way for me to do something nice for me. Zero. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. Like I said, he the word sorry has never came out of his mouth. You know, when I told him, when I, I you know, like I said, I've, I've told him. I said, you tell me, and I, I've had this conversation with me. I said, you tell me that your wife is pissed off at me because I cost her a million dollars in life insurance. But over these last nine years, I said, I've made you and your wife a minimum of $1.8 million to $2.7 million. And I said, what have you done for me? He said, I don't owe you nothing. I don't owe you nothing. That says it all right there. I don't owe you nothing. Thank you. That's all I, that's all I owe you. He said, do you want to know? He said, do you want to know why people don't, don't, don't want to be around you? It's because you're, you think you're entitled. You think you're entitled. I, 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 I swear, I swear that's a true story. I'm telling you, it's the truth. I'll put my hand on the Bible. I'll put my hand on the Bible. Imagine somebody telling you that. Imagine this devil, this narcissistic evil devil, this horrible evil narcissistic Ebenezer Scrooge John Elwes person telling you that, telling you that. You know, nobody, you know why nobody wants to be around you? And I said, no, why don't you tell me why nobody wants to be around me? Oh, because you're entitled. You think you're entitled or whatever. You know, that's what he said after. He said after after I, I, I said about how I didn't cost your wife a million dollars. I made your wife, you know, $1.8 million to $2.7 million easy. And he said, I don't owe you nothing. He said, thank you. That's all I owe you is, 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 is a thank you. I said, do you know the reason why you say thank you? Because it doesn't cost a dime. That's the reason why you say thank you. And you know what? You're so narcissistic. You say thank you because narcissistic people are not dumb. They know what to say. They're an expert at manipulation. They're experts. You know, that's why there's a lot of narcissist pe narcissistic people in business. And there's a lot of narcissistic pe people in, 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 in Hollywood, you know. Narcissistic people use people, you know. And that's what I'm saying with, with somebody like him, you know. Imagine that. I mean, imagine you make somebody, I'm just saying, $1.8 million to $2.7 million, and they say, I don't owe you nothing. Thank you. Thank you is all I owe you. And then they turn around and they say, you know, you, you know, you know why nobody wants to be around you? Because you're, you, you think you're entitled. You think people owe you something. You know, that's what I'm saying. This is, that's, he's, that's what I'm saying. This is what I've, I've had to deal with, with this, this, 
Ebenezer Scrooge, you know, and like I said, I can't tell you how many times where I wish, I have wished, and I have actually prayed that he would change. I have prayed, I mean, I, the tr I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I swear, I, I'm not going to lie. I've, I have, I have watched that movie, The Christmas Carol, and I have cried. I really, I really have. I mean, I'm, that's the honest to God truth. I have cried, you know, because I, that Bob Cratchit, I'm telling you, I, I have seen how Ebenezer Scrooge treated Bob Cratchit, you know, at the beginning of the movie and even towards the end. And, you know, I just, it, it really, it brought me to tears because I'm telling you, that's exactly as... You know, like whenever I remember a part in, in that movie where, where the Christmas Carol, where they were getting ready to close up or whatever. And Bob Cratchit was putting the coat around, you know, putting the coat on Ebenezer Scrooge and Ebenezer Scrooge said something about, I guess you're going to want the whole day off about the whole Christmas day off or whatever, you know. And I thought about. As. As sad as that is right there, that cannot even compare. That is like, you know, as little as, as that Ebenezer Scrooge pays Bob Cratchit in that movie and about Ebenezer Scrooge, you know, saying something about, I guess you're going to want the whole day off, you know. That is nothing compared to what this guy that I have talked about for over three hours and 24 minutes and 51 seconds. That is nothing compared to what I've went through with this guy. I'm telling you. I'm standing here looking at, I'm just saying, I just, and I've said it before. I live in a, I live in a place where there's, you know, brown water spots on the ceiling what well, you know part of the ceiling i'm looking at right now looks like it's gonna cave in you know had to move the bed because there's a big huge water spot that i that you know that's been there for over five years you know there's water water you know, there's water stains on the walls and you know we're down to one car i've had to you know, like i said when i worked for him i had to walk there's plenty of times where I had to walk to to work, and when I when I when I didn't, you know, I would call an Uber, but I would only have enough money to pay for one. You know, I'd I'd pay for to go over, and then I have to walk back. You know, from his, you know, working for him. You know, I'd make fifty. I'd make fifty dollars in a day, and I'd have to pay the Uber ten dollars. You know, because I couldn't afford to pay the twenty. It's ten dollars up and ten dollars back. You know. I couldn't afford to pay the, you know, and like I said, he would offer me a, oh, you want to ride? Fuck no, I don't want to ride. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. You're evil. You're the devil. You're, 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 you're absolutely horrible to me. No, I, no, you know, I said, you could buy me a car. Oh, if I hit the lottery, you know, like I told him, I said, you know what the chances of hitting the lottery are? Getting struck by lightning on a perfectly clear, sunny day. you got a better chance of being struck by lightning on a perfectly clear sunny day than by winning the lottery and that's what that's what he yeah that's his thing oh if i if i win the lottery you're at the top of my list you know oh if i win the lottery i'll give you this watch you know if you win the if i win the lottery i'll buy you a car but yet he had no problem getting a brand new vehicle you know he you know he he doesn't You know, he was talking about how, you know, that's what I'm saying. He cries poor, tired, hungry, and broke or whatever. But I always ask him, you know, he has a six-carat round diamond. He has a six-carat round GI certified diamond, you know, that he has put away. You know, that's what I'm saying. This guy, he's, oh, man, he is shady, 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 very shady, you know. He'll, he'd tell people, you know, if you pay for cash, you know, if you pay in cash, you know, it'll save the sales tax, 
you know, he'd he'd send me up to the to the post office, and you know he'd send me up with five hundred five hundred dollars or a thousand dollars or fifteen hundred or two thousand dollars to buy United States Postal Service money orders, and you know, he would put them away because United States Postal Service money orders they don't expire, you know that's how you hide cash. He's, you know, like I said, he's got this six carat diamond put away. You know, he's got this six carat round GI certified diamond, you know. And, you know, oh, and he said, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, of course, yeah, whatever. Yeah, he doesn't know what I'm talking about. But then he said, you know, I said, well, what's that? What is that worth? You know, what's your, what's your, what's that six carat worth or whatever? Oh, it's worth about 120,000. This is somebody that's talking about being tired, hungry, and broke, you know, that their nephew, you know, fucked him over for $400,000, you know, and all, everything. He tells everybody on their son, his son is, his nephew fucked him over for $400,000, took 400,000 cash from him. You know, like I said, he wouldn't let Jesus Christ, Mother Teresa, he wouldn't let his own mom, he wouldn't let uh, the Pope, he wouldn't let, huh, Nobody take four hundred thousand dollars cash from him, but yeah, he he tells everybody that his his nephew fucked him over uh, uh, four hundred thousand dollars, you know, and that he's having to pay back the deposit to to, to his nephew, which is bull bullshit. Oh, I have a contract. Oh, I, you know whatever, but he you know he doesn't have any assets. It's like getting blood from a turnip, whatever. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. We're gonna do a ten year fucking contract. Let him walk in, you know. Take every dime for a fucking year. Doesn't have to pay it. Pay a dime for a year. Teach them how to jewelry repair and everything about the fucking business. Then they just decide to leave after a year before they make their first payment on the business. And oh, they just he just walks out and takes four hundred thousand dollars from him. Yeah, right. Like I said, he would kill me. I mean, there's no doubt. He 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 just fucking blow my brains out if I if I I, I I'm telling you. I'm telling you, even for for a fucking thousand dollars, five. I'm just saying, for for a thousand dollars, he would he would blow my fucking brains out. If you heard this right here, he'd probably fucking blow my brains out. His wife would blow my fucking brains out. He'd hire somebody to blow my fucking brains out. And that's another thing. He said, "Oh, you're gonna hire somebody to kill me." That's what he said. This Ebenezer Scrooge fucker, you know, not to. I'm just saying. He said, he said, "Oh, you're gonna hire somebody. You, you're probably gonna hire somebody to fucking kill me." I said, what part of I'm fucking broke don't you fucking understand? How in the fuck am I going to hire somebody to fucking kill you when I can't even pay for my fucking bills? When I can't even fucking eat right? You know what I'm saying? When I get to worry about fucking paying the rent, the electric, the car payment, the car insurance, you know what I'm saying? Putting gas in the fucking car, buying food every fucking day. How? That's what I'm saying. This is how This is how fucking crazy and cuckoo and narcissistic and Ebenezer Scrooge and John Elwes and demonic and satanic and, and just – that's what I'm saying. I don't even know. I'm sure there's stuff that I've got to say that I, I – I, you know, but – I'm just going to pause it and think if there's anything else I've I've got to say before I end this. Because like I said, it's 3 hours and 30 minutes and 51 seconds right now. And it's 425 in the morning, Christmas morning, 2019. So I'm going to pause this real quick and see if there's anything I need to, you know. I'm going to just... All right, well, I'm just so tired. And I've like I said, I've been stand, just sitting here and by myself... You know, I'm just, I don't know, my fiance is sound asleep, I'm sitting here by myself, just staring at these walls and the ceiling, and I've been talking for three hours and 31 minutes and 37 seconds, so I guess I'm, there's, I'm sure there's something that I've missed, but... I don't know. I just, you know, like I said, I've, I have, I have prayed and I have hoped that he would change and just, you know, treat me right. Just treat me decent. You know what I'm saying? Just treat me decent. And, you know, just, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I mean, it's not like, I, don't, I mean, I don't know what else to say. Just to treat me like, you know, I've been, I've been loyal, you know what I'm saying? I put my life on the line for you. You know? You're alive nine more years. You've made all this money. You've did all these deals, you know what I'm saying? 
and this is not even including from 2002 to 2010 when I knew you. This is just from 2010 now. I'm just saying, you know, you've made... I could understand if I just saw what was going on and I just walked the fuck out, you know. But, you know, I didn't. And you've lived all these years and you've made all these millions of dollars, you know. Like I said, from your own words, you said any, any schmuck can make 200000 a year to $300,000 a year out of the store, no problem. Those are your own words. So 200000 a year is $1.8 million, almost $2 million. And 300000 a year times nine years is $2.7 million. Almost $3 million, okay? So you've made a minimum of that amount from 2010 to 2019. And during that time, you have treated me Worse than worthless trash. Worse than worthless trash. You can deny it. You can call me crazy. You can call me cuckoo. Just like you've said so many times, you're cuckoo, cuckoo. Remember you saying that all the time? That I'm cuckoo, cuckoo. I'm not, I'm not cuckoo. This is all stuff that's happened to me. But you know what? You don't care because you know what? Like I said, you're, you've... You've got your money, you've got your merchandise, you know, that six carat diamond that you said, you know, oh, you know, you got that six carat round GI certified diamond that you said is worth about 120000 or whatever. You said, oh, you wouldn't sell it. You wouldn't sell it. You cry tired, hungry, and broke, but you wouldn't sell it for no less than $180,000. Now, I've never met anybody that is tired, hungry, and broke, and is legitimately poor, that has a $120,000 diamond that they have put away, but you say that you have to get $60,000 over wrap. That's what I'm saying. That's, 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 how, that's how contradictive you are. You know, that's what I'm saying. I've, I just, and like I said, I cannot understand how, how, like I said, you have, you have all this stuff. You have that six carat diamond. There's no telling how much money and, and jewelry and, uh, United States Post Service money orders and you name it, coins. You, there's no telling how much you have that not, nobody except for you knows. You know what I'm saying? You live in a couple hundred thousand dollar house. You all have multiple uh, rental properties. You got that fishing lodge. You know what I'm saying? You got you got the the all the merchandise in your showcases. But yet the person that put their life on the line for yours. You know, and your wife. You know, your wife and your business partner, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You know. You're alive to make her money. You know, and you've made her millions of dollars or whatever. But yet y'all can. You know, I, I just, I, it, it just, it, it is beyond me to understand how human beings could treat somebody, you and your wife could treat somebody the way that y'all have treated me. It, it is, it is beyond, you know, I, I'm just saying, it is beyond my understanding how, you know, and she can say that she didn't know, and you can lie and say it's never happened, but it's not the truth. It's not the truth. It's not the truth, okay? You can lie. She can lie. This is, you know, I just, I don't know. All I know is it's Christmas morning. I have a about a three foot tall tree with a couple lights on it that was given to me. There's no gifts under that tree. It's bare. I have no money 
No, I have nothing to to, to give my fiance for for Christmas. I have nothing. I have nothing. I have no money. I have nothing. I, I'm 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 broke. I'm in debt. I have to worry day to day. You know, I don't want anything from my fiance. I don't want nothing from nobody. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? I don't want anything from you. I deserve it. From your wife, I deserve it. You know what I'm saying? I deserve. I do because I've earned it. I have earned it. You you say, oh, I think I'm entitled or whatever. You know what? Yeah, I think it's pretty fucking shitty. I think it's pretty fucking shitty how shitty you've treated me, Ebenezer Scrooge. You fucking narcissistic, unappreciative fucker. You Ebenezer Scrooge, John Elwes. You fucking satanic devil. You know? Yes, I think it's fucking shitty how you fucking treated me all these fucking years. You know, you've treated me fucking horrible. You've treated me worse than worthless trash. And your wife or your business partner, she hasn't done anything to help me. You know what I'm saying? She hasn't. She she hasn't. What? It, what she hasn't done nothing. She tells me fucking Goodwill's hiring. She gives me a fucking used coat and brought me a fucking one cup of coffee and a and a and a and a, and a, and a couple uh, m uh, muffins or a couple cupcakes. You know, what? You think I'm gonna eat something that she made after you tell me that she's fucking pissed off at me because that cost her a fucking million dollars in life insurance? That's what I'm saying. You know, this is I just you know, like I said, who and who you know. I don't wish I don't wish this to, to be on anybody to be sitting here alone fucking Christmas morning. You know what I'm saying? Having to think about this fucking shit. You know, I have no fucking. You know, I have no fucking. It's Christmas morning. I don't have nothing to give my fucking. You know, I don't have a fucking gift to give to my fiance. You know, I don't have a fucking gift to give to my grandmother. You know. I have no fucking money. I'm broke. I'm in fucking debt. I got to worry about the fucking food I eat, the fucking gas. It's good. How to put fucking gas in the car day by day. The food I'm going to fucking eat day by day. How to fucking pay the rent day by day, you know, month by month. You know, how to put gas in the fucking car. How to pay the car insurance. How to pay the car payment. How to pay the rent. How, you know, how to pay the electric. You know, all the fucking shit that I got to worry about. You don't have to worry about that shit. You, you know, that's what I'm saying. You tell me you don't want to hear about my fucking problems. I don't want to hear you. That's what you've told me. I don't want to hear about your fucking problems no more. That you told me you fucking everybody's are Scrooge. Um, I don't know. I'm just. I'm sure there's something I miss, but I can't. I just can't. I'm my, I just can't. My, I got a fucking headache. I got a migraine. I've been talking for three hours, forty minutes, twenty-four seconds. It's four thirty-six. AM 4:36 in the morning December the 25th 2019 Christmas day I wouldn't wish this on anybody I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't wish my anxiety attacks my depression I wouldn't want to you know I wouldn't wish this on anybody you know what I'm saying no I don't think I'm entitled no I don't think you know but you know what? Yeah, I do believe that I should I sh I should be have been treated better. I do. I I I I I do. You know what I'm saying? By somebody that has so much. You know, like I said, I put my life on the line, and, and this person has lived nine more years to treat me like worthless trash. And his wife and his business partner has done nothing. It's, it's just st stood by and and let it let it happen, and didn't even didn't even do anything to help me out. You know, that's what I'm saying. You know. And she calls herself a Christian, you know, that's what I'm saying. Uh, how could anybody, you know, I'm just saying, how can any Christian, you know, how can any Christian, you know, let somebody who they're married to or their business partner treat somebody the way that this person has treated me for so many fucking years, horrible, horrible, absolutely horrible for so many years, and has just stood by and did nothing, you know what I'm saying? You know, just tell me that Goodwill's hiring, you know. That's what I'm saying. This is how, like I said, if anything, I'm just telling you, if anything ever happens to me, I want you to go after, I want you to investigate this male and this female that I'm talking about. This male, Ebenezer Scrooge, this narcissistic Ebenezer Scrooge, satanic, just selfish, unappreciative devil. I want you to investigate him. And I want you to investigate his wife or his business partner. If anything ever happens to me, and I'm going to tell you, y'all can y'all could say that y'all never know me, but y'all know me, and my blood is in your store. My blood is on the sink. My blood is in the bathroom on the sink. My blood is on the 
the floor. My blood is on the floor in the back of the of the store. My my blood is in the store in the front of the store. Y'all, y'all can't say that I'm crazy. Y'all can't say that you don't even know me. Y'all can't say that I'm lying. Y'all, can, you can say that I'm lying, but I'm not lying. That's all I'm saying, you know. And if anything, and if and if anything ever happens to me, you know, I'm just saying I want you, I want you to investigate this male and this female that I've been talking about, and I want you to make sure that justice is served, you know, because if they didn't kill me then they could hire somebody to kill me. That's what I'm saying. Imagine putting your life on the line for somebody and making them millions of dollars and having to worry about your own safety and your own well-being while you're fucking dirt poor and in fucking debt and having to worry about, you know, fucking living day to day and paying your fucking bills. This is the life that I live. Why these fucking people are living in their couple hundred thousand dollar house, going on fucking vacation, enjoying their fucking life, you know what I'm saying? Worth millions of dollars have their fucking couple hundred thousand dollar house, have their fucking rental properties, have their lodge, you know, have their store, have their merchandise, have their vehicles. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. This Ebenezer fucker talks great about multiple people. He talks great about multiple people. He'll talk great about this person and talk great about that person, but he'll, yet he'll call me crazy. Yet he'll call me cuckoo. He'll say something. He'll say, oh, I never said that. He'll call me a liar. He'll call me cuckoo. He'll call me crazy. You know, he'll say, oh, well, people say that you're going to kill me one day. No, I'm not going to fucking kill you one day. That's how fucking crazy it is. That's what, how fucking insane crazy this guy is. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, it's like a, it's like, it's like somebody who beats a fucking dog and kicks a fucking dog and starves, starves a fucking dog. And then, you know, and then, oh, that dog's going to, that, that, that dog's, oh, I'm so good to that dog, but that, oh, that dog's going to bite you one day or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's the way this guy, you know, that's what I'm saying. He puts me down and starves me, and 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 I'm just saying he I, he, you know. He I just I he just he treats me so horrible, treats me so horrible, and then he he you know that's what I'm saying. Like I told, I said I will fucking walk out, which I have. I'll fucking flick you off, Ebenezer fucking Scrooge, you fucking narcissistic, satanic devil, you unappreciative John Elwes fucker. I'm flicking you off right now. I flick you off. I'm walking the fuck out. I'm not going to come back in your fucking store, okay? I'm not going to come back in your wife's store, your business partner's store. I'm not going to come back. You know, it's in her name, but you say it's yours, but she says it's hers. It's the fucking shadiest shit I've ever, I've ever seen or dealt with in my fucking life, okay? I'm not coming back in the fucking store. If anything fucking ever happens to me, I want them to investigate you and investigate your wife, your business partner. And if y'all didn't do it, then find the per the find the per people that you hired to fucking do it, or you 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 put the word to fucking do it. You know, this is what I fucking have to go after, and I'm not fucking. This is what I'm saying. I shouldn't have to go through this shit. I shouldn't have to go through this fucking shit. You know, I shouldn't have to fucking go through this shit. You know, I shouldn't. I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's fucking 4.41 a.m. in the morning on Christmas morning, and I've been talking for 3 hours and 46 minutes and 16 seconds, and this is, this is what I'm saying. This is how I spend my fucking Christmas morning, fucking alone, broke, and fucking debt, talking about fucking this Ebenezer Scrooge, this fucking horrible Ebenezer Scrooge, John Elwes, you know, this fucking devil... Horrible, absolutely horrible, the most horrible person I've ever met in my life. And like I said, that is saying a lot because I have dealt with tens of thousands of people in my life. And the line of work that I've been in, I have dealt with tens of thousands of people. And by far, bar none, without any doubt, with zero doubt, this guy that I'm talking about is the most horrible person I've ever met in my life. The way he's treated me and the way he's done me. I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wish it on a dog. I wouldn't, I wouldn't wish it on a dog. You know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I just wanted to make a video. Right now it's 12.51 a.m. Christmas morning. 2019 and 
I've been thinking about, you know. There was a novel by Charles Dickens and The Christmas Carol, I believe that's what it was called. And they have, there's been several movies based upon Dickens, Christmas Carol, and the centerpiece of the movie, t to me it seems, is a guy by the name of Ebenezer Scrooge. And I've mentioned this before in previous videos about the absolutely beyond any doubt